But yeah. well, and weird. we are live. Ah, damn! I was about to say something controversial. Hey, weird. <laughs> Look, uh, you can't really see. I can see it. I see how big it is. <laughs> yeah, mine. Mine's twice that size for medical alone. Oh, way to compensate, bro. Oh God. What the fuck? Hey. <laughs> I mean, I guess it wouldn't be a, another stream on Behold Roleplay without, you know, some weird shit being said as we're going live. I mean, I swear you do it on purpose. Uh. <laughs> I mean, it's probably in the contract that everyone signs. You guys signed a contract? You guys get paid? There's a contract? <laughs> we're on stream? Because you agreed to be on the channel. You you agreed to the contract. Yeah. Did true. we not tell That's you true. that? Yeah, yeah, you kind of did actually, but we kind of glossed over it most. Times. Yeah, see, see now we're now we just pull we just pull an an Axel Rose and we just claim we own your likeness. <laughs> wait, am the I still on probation? <laughs> Indefinitely. So wait, what is my likeness? Is it more Jim Carrey? Is it more Tom Brady? Is it? <laughs> uh, That's true. Who's playing? Who's playing me? Playing Minako? In the uh, Charlie Day, the rights. Charlie, Charlie Day, Day. Charlie Day yes. is uh, yes. Charlie Day I, is man. He can play any role. <laughs> it's gonna be really funny when he comes up into the screen and says, "Listen, Mario is missing." Actually, it, it's not a. Uh, it, it's not live action. It's animated, so you're not gonna see Charlie Day. Oh, in the okay. Costume, unfortunately. okay. So that was. But it doesn't was matter. Just, it's still good. I'm, I'm gonna go see it strictly for Charlie Day. I'm bringing like, my... I was I was fine not watching that movie, and then I saw Charlie Day was there. I was like, well, no, I I'm bringing my it. sister because it's on her birthday. I have to bring her to the movie for that. Like, there's no way that movie is good. Oh yeah, there's no way that movie's gonna be good. Like, it, yeah, it, it, hey, no, we said no, the same thing about Sonic. No, no, video Sonic game movie Sonic has ever been good. Uh, but there it was Sonic, Sonic, and Detective Pikachu. Although Detective Pikachu could have been better if it was Danny DeVito. This is true. Those two are the good ones. And then you had the original Mario with uh, Bob Hoskins and That John doesn't Zamo, exist. That which doesn't and, exist. Amazing. And and the Assassin's Creed movie was this close to being good. Okay, so the Assassin's Creed movie is a really good movie. If they would have taken out the it, Animus sequence. Well, if they just take away the Assassin's Creed name. No, because I think I think when they did the the whole like all Spanish periodical shit, that shit was cool. And then they yeah, went to the Abstergo it, bullshit. And I was like, it, oh, it's I'm a great crazy. movie with a great storyline mm -hmm. and great actors, great, great plot and everything. But it's it doesn't belong in the Assassin's Creed franchise. I mean, the Prince of Persia was good. The Jake Gyllenhaal movies? Yeah. It, were it they actually good? Tried right. some good things. Yeah. You know, well, but you know what movies we can all agree to shit on? As the Mila Jovovich Capcom movies. Yes. Yes. As long as Zoro isn't here, because then she'll yell at you. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Gonna be yelling at her computer uh, when she's watching the VOD later. Dude, I, I'm sorry. Like, if you think Resident Evil is good, I'm, I, you can't not be helped. The that, first, that's another <laughs> series. The first one, <laughs> one. The the first first one was one. okay it got when you watched it the first time. And the then first afterwards, you, you go back and you no, watch it and you're like, holy no. shit, this movie's <laughs> horrible. Because the second because, one wasn't bad. Because when it came out, everybody was like, good. everybody was all nostalgic for it. This is like, oh, the, we got live action Resident uh, Evil. And then afterwards, probably about, about like an hour after you watched it, you're just like, the fuck did I just watch? That, okay, I, an, I'm gonna, another, I'm go gonna ahead. end this argument right here. I the God. Resident Evil God. movies were the Lacroix of the Resident Evil franchise. Franchise. You had it's, like a hint of Resident Evil from a truck that drove by. Like, that's fair. It, it, yeah. It's another bunch of video game movies that, if they were standalone <laughs> movies, they would be good. But knowing that no. they're supposed to be part of a franchise, it's like, it, no, this is garbage in the context <laughs> of that franchise. You can't tell me Resident Evil Nemesis is a good movie. Okay, I never saw. I only saw the first one. <laughs> oh, oh, because oh, the trailers oh, for God. all the other ones were so bad that yeah. I didn't even want to bother. Have you the played? Have you so played yeah, have you played Resident Evil Three? I guess. All right, so Nemesis is trying to fuck Alice. No, mate. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, actually, yeah. Now that I think about it, yeah. It is. 
Well, I'm glad I didn't watch that. Yeah, and and I think Nemesis is like Carlos. No, ne- Nemesis was the the guy from the first one who got hit by the liquor. Ah, okay, but yeah, mm, point is yeah. Th- that movie sucked so much ass. <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome to a channel that doesn't suck so much ass. Well, depending hey. on who you ask. <laughs> Only consensually. Not not uh, during COVID times. That's again. That's no, bad no social distancing, bro. Come on. <laughs> Anyway, as you guys can see, uh, we are down a couple people today. Um, Kira has some, I believe, some family stuff going on, and both Shadow Fox and Zoro are celebrating their little girl's birthday. So we uh, we are a crew of four players today. I am horribly sorry for you four. Um, not really. I, I went oh, like when I learned that we were gonna have people like out i made like a little side mission for you guys to take care of so it's not really going to uh you're not going to get to a situation where you need somebody on the team who isn't there that's good because we don't really have any healers at the moment yeah you don't have any i mean heal some of us can sort of heal I'm not I a healer. Call, I wouldn't call myself a healer. I'm yeah. I'm strictly a killing machine. I, I'm more of a okay. You're down. Let me punch you until you get back up, kind of person. Mm. If you kill the enemy before they deal damage, you're technically a healer. Technically, yeah. The greatest debuff is death. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing Darkest Dungeon all of a sudden. The greatest debuff is death, but it you know it's scary when it's when it's just a dot that runs out and the guy gets back up. But uh yeah, so the last time uh the group was together, you descended down into a camp where your friends Gaius, uh Natalia and uh Bernard had been taken captive uh after a small ambush in the desert befell the group. Um, though descending down into this ca- this chasm like camp, you really didn't run into much resistance as <clears throat> you were told the hunting parties were out for the day uh, to go procure both food resources and more people. Um, when uh, the hell's token? Oh, that's why I was wondering what was going on. Because I saw a brand new token on the screen, and all it was was uh, Callie was standing over the mind flare. I was like, "Who the fuck's token is that? It looks awesome." <laughs> um, Callie Illithid hmm. coming in. But yeah, you no. um, <laughs> upon searching the camp <clears throat> and taking out a couple of the guards that were still there, uh, you descended down into a very deep ca- uh, deep cavern where you found quite a handful of people chained together, slowly mining the wall away, completely blank looks all on their faces. And they begin to, they began in unison to chant in some, in some strange language that none of you could identify. Um, following some lights that were tracing down the wall with archaic runes, you found yourself in an underground temple maybe as the the as the cave floor and the rock face everything turned into shaped stone once inside you encountered a mind flare who uh sicked his uh umber hulk pets on you and watched the chaos from behind a uh small shield Noticing during the fight Reju's pendant, it caught his interest and he made mention of needing to report this to the Magisterium before plane shifting out. With the Umber Hulks defeated and the Mind Flayer no longer there, you destroyed an orb in the center of the room, which leaked out numerous mind flayer tadpoles this also freed your friends but 
though they are they were currently gasping for breath and one or two of them unconscious you pick them up and you began to take them back to Ivy's little sand cavern using the hot air balloon. Snit, Nerix, and Cyrus staying behind to investigate the temple and the, the chained people a bit more as something didn't necessarily sit, sit right with uh, Cyrus and Nerix. I'm th by the way, I'm throwing this in just, you know, to set why they're still down there. Um, I had to talk to the three of them to let them know what they find, too. Um, Damn, I, was, I needed to search the place. But as we, uh, as we, yeah, you know what? Uh, since you were down there, you can give me a quick investigation roll if you want. See if you find anything. Uh, yeah, Minako's looking for anything that might help her ritual. <laughs> but of course she is. Uh, what what kind of roll? Uh, investigation. Investigation. Uh, let me bring up my character sheet. That'd be important. Um, oh god, my investigation's ass. In eleven. Eleven. You don't. Re you don't really find much in here that you think would help with the uh. The ritual that you are so long, so longing to complete. Okay. So, um, it takes you all in all about two hours from start to finish of this, the raid of the camp to get back to the, um, Get back to Ivy's cavern. Snit along the way uh, made a suggestion to take whatever resources that the camp had with them, with you. So as a means to well help you guys because you're traveling a bit light and put a bit of a hindrance on the uh, the slavers that are down there. But you go, you touch down outside the, outside the cavern. And you, you all help the uh, your three friends. Uh, you, you help to bring them into the cavern and get them uh, set up inside the uh, inside uh, Snit's little uh, uh, abode. You can call it. Uh, are any of them like coherent, or are they all they're, exhausted? They're they're pretty exhausted at the moment that the three of them are for lack of a better word non-functional they're alive wow. but they're not really reacting to anything any like pokes or prods uh, from the from the looks of it they're going to be down for a couple days and raise you will probably like get some rags and you know do the whole like the flu kind of treatment where they're tucked in got something moist on their forehead and just let them lay down and rest um and after that she'll the, gene the, the generic anime nurse uh technique basically <laughs> okay. and uh she'll probably prepare some food for everybody that's kind of hungry for midday snack well, you you necessarily haven't been gone that long. Like I said, oh, that's right. It only took like twenty minutes to get there. Yeah, like I said, it was like about like an hour and a half, two hours from start to finish for you guys to go down there, do your thing, and come back. Fair enough. So it's it's probably still morning. It, yeah, it's still early morning. It's like the uh, the sun has just like started to uh, started to come up uh, midway, signifying that you're you're. It's like around like ten or so. It's starting to get hot. Yeah, the, the heat the heat is most definitely starting to pick up in the desert, but it's still early in the day. And I think at, at some point between rescuing our companions and bringing them back, um, we would have taken some time, I imagine, to check them over to see if they show any signs that are similar to the enslaved people that they had 
like an earworm uh, or something? You most definitely can with a medicine check. Yeah, I'll go ahead and roll that too. Uh, if you're if you're both gonna roll, uh, one of you roll with advantage. I uh, let's see. I've got. Well, I've got a decent one. I have but a I'm plus not, three. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not trained. Are you trained, Ben? No. Okay. I have um, plus three to. I'll. Bed. I have plus four. So... I also have plus four. Yeah. All right. Okay. So. Heads or tails, Callie. You, you do the roll. I don't okay. ever trust my dice with anything. So. Fair enough. Okay, so advantage it is. Hey, uh, total of an 18. Just checking them over for any marks. An uh, 18? Um, you notice that the three of them... Excuse me. You notice that the three of them have, like, two small, like, puncture marks right behind their right ear. Like if you, were, if you were if you were to if you were to fold the right ear down, you would notice the uh, puncture marks like right on the skull. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Um, uh, considering we saw the marks uh, on the uh, the slaves, you don't, you, don't, uh, you don't see any of the the black tendril like corruption uh, uh, on their their flesh just yet. Though it's kind, it's kind of hard to see anything on, like anything that way on Gaius, since he does have that like light layer of fur on him. Uh, I guess we should tell Ivy. Unless yeah. we're willing to do a field op right now. Uh, I am not that skilled. Well, that there's was... no skill required. <laughs> just. Oh no no no! You get that close to. What's inside the head? You could possibly damage someone beyond repair. Yeah, I don't have like a healer's kit or medicine kit or anything with tools in it to use either. So uh, we we could just wait for Cyber and the others to get back after their investigation of the temple. Well, well that's let's, another thing. Let, let's tell Ivy. She seems to know yeah, a lot. You no, know, swimming corruption doesn't take them over before they get back. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, um, Ivy, and she just starts like walking out of the the hut. She uh, hearing you, she uh, she walks uh towards the house from the back of the cave, like oh, drying her hands off on her dress. Uh, yes, dear. Uh, what what seems to um, be the matter? Are either you or your husband good with uh medicine? Uh, I was for a time a uh, a local healer in our village if that's of any if, if that's of any of help um uh, we need a surgeon a surgeon we uh, ran you're, you're... into something called an illithid oh one of those interesting little fellows yes i know where i killed its children uh, that was probably a good thing uh, the the three we just rescued they have puncture marks behind their right ear Ooh. Uh, the, uh, let me see them let me see what I can do just take her over to the bedroom area she like she walks in and she goes into the room and she investigates the three of them well there's good news and there is bad news um good news is is the implantation had has just recently taken effect. Um, which means they still have time. The bad news is, is yes, they ha they do have one of those little squiggly things rummaging around in their skull. Okay. Uh, Minigo takes out her nap. Can we cut it out? Uh, surgery isn't something that you do in this matter. We have to, uh, well, we have to poison it out. I look over at Zellark. Uh, Zellark? Yes. Um, do we know what kind of poisons an illithid? Oh, I know what I know exactly what poison you need. And Zellark, you're pretty good with them. I can, I can, I can make the little concoction. I just need, uh, I just need some things. Well. She can do it. Uh, again, I'm no Nerex, so I, at most, 
I'm just good at administering the poison. But I can make a little hodgepodge cure for this. Um, and I only I only necessarily need one thing, only one. I I have everything else I need in my little kit back in the cave. Um, a little bit from here, there's a bone graveyard. Necromancy. No, not nice. necromancy. No, no, not necromancy beer. Uh, drop off pit for feeding grounds. Uh, no, more like where things go to die due to old age. Um, though a specific uh, baddie has started to call it call the place home. Seeing as how these graveyards are rife with bone for resources, it tends to pick off stragglers and uh, and scavengers as they come along. Um, but he's got a very nasty venom on him. If you could get me one of his venom sacks, we are we would be in business. Uh, what direction is it in? Uh, it's to the southeast of here. You're looking at maybe 10 mile walk. Okay. We can do that. I mean, if yeah. it's going to help them, we'll, we got to do it, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, just out of curiosity, uh, how big is this creature? Mm, a little bit bigger than one of those birdly looking horses that uh, Goliath would ride. Okay. Um, let's see. And what is this creature? <sighs> it's an abomination. Um, oh. Technically, you it, it, it looks it looks like a spider, but it's a little bit more than that. Something that uh, happened due to mutation from, well, this. And she kind of just like circles her finger around, like, indicating the uh, cursed areas. Great. Next we'll be chasing giant fucking snakes. Wait, language? Well, if you... If Fuck you, Reju. If you're looking for a giant fucking snake, I know where one of those is too, but... Oh, so you swear too? Well... In this case, yes. Because it is most definitely a giant fucking snake. But we don't have to go after that, right? No, no, not unless you want to. No, I don't want to. Well, if you ever if you ever want to strike it rich and you can kill it, there's quite a bounty on its head. Fair enough. Um... Let's not tell Nerix. No, th this this is just a very large spider-like monstrosity. It hangs around in the bone field. Don't I guess kill a spider. Start wrapping a backpack then. The desert clothes. Okay. <laughs> she'll is she'll just run off. Anything we should know, like what what to look out for, what we should be aware of and prepare um, for. Watch out, he's a bit sneaky. He, um... Oh. Have you ever seen a spirit? I a ghost. Think so... I oh. mean... I've heard stories. Well, they... they He can go a bit intangible, like the ghosts at will. Oh, God. Oh. <sighs> Sounds great, was... let's go. Cool. Things that shift between planes. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't shift between anything, dear. He uh. He just makes it to where you can't hurt him. Same difference. Suppose he'll give us some of his venom if we ask nicely. Here we go again. Cal, uh, is it? 
I mean, besides Cal- Ruger, have you ever talked to an animal before and it responds back? Get, Kelly, I don't, I don't think that you're going Cal- to get a lot of uh, a lot of help from this one if you talk to it. Dalark Cal- starts yeah. uh, twiddling a dart uh, through his hands and everything. It's like we'll ask nicely. Yeah, Min- Minico mo- motions to Callie to like. Wait, is is Callie taller than Minico or no? I don't think. So. Yeah, I, I think both Callie yeah. and Minico are pretty short. Callie yes. is five foot one. Yes. Okay. So she will go over to you and say, "In the city, I was okay with your pacifistic bullshit. We are not safe out here. Anything that's hostile, you kill." Right. Like I, I get the whole survival thing, but you know. Like if we go up to something, we're not it... talking to a giant fucking spider when we need the poison to save your boyfriend, or are you willing to risk it on, on diplomacy? No, no. I mean, we we do what we got to do, right? But if we go into a scenario with a giant spider or a person or something, and they like want to talk, we could try that before attacking them. No, I mean, I mean. Bonus points to Callie for, you know, being the, the forever diplomat. One thing... That doesn't Callie, work out here. When that doesn't work, switch to the other mode. At that right, point. exactly. No. There, yeah, no, no. there should never be that first mode in the first place outside city walls. If that was it's, the case, you would have attacked Ivy the moment that she walked into the cave. Well, she was thinking about it. I know she was. But, you know, I'm happy she didn't. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that that's a good example, because when I met Ivy, I talked to her, and she was really nice, and she gave me some fruit. Yeah, what if she wanted to kill you? I would <laughs> not be around to have exactly. this conversation. Exactly. You would have, anyway. Uh, actually, uh, Rosian. Yes? Uh, would this be a good time for a short rest? Um. Yeah, you guys, you guys can take a short rest if you want. All right. Go ahead and roll some d6s for my hp oh, oh i crap. didn't spend anything i'm glad i spent only my d6s but yeah uh, i need a d10 i'm guessing we're we're all talking during this short rest yes yeah like, oh yeah this this is like downtime yeah like short, yeah short, short rest is pretty much you guys are just talking with one another it's not anything so, drastic just says while this is all going on it's like can we at least agree that it's an abomination which means it dies it doesn't count doesn't count to what for normal rules of diplomacy if it's an abomination it should not be there so we'd be doing a service well I mean, to the area to be fair dear it's not its fault it's an abomination it's it lives out here in the wastes and it wandered into an area it shouldn't have it's not it's not much of you know a creature that was created out of malice or anything of that sense just you know wrong place wrong time i mean i don't suppose you can nope. patch me up oh you Oh, yes, um, go drink the water in the spring. I'll fix you right up. The one you were bathing in earlier. Oh, great. As you takes a swig of the water skins I filled up. It's oh, just water. Yeah. It's just water? Okay. And, uh, she'll go take a drink. Yep. And when you take the drink, there's a bit of a, uh, a rush goes through you as you feel like your body sort of relaxing in healing up as you get the effects of a long rest. So the water has to be directly from there for it to work. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. just not going to think much about it. Yep. Okay, so um, I probably shouldn't bathe in the water. You're fine to bathe in it. 
bathing in your drinking water seems like a weird thing to do. The, uh, the fungi inside the uh, inside the water itself tend to purify it. And from what I've seen during certain parts of the day, it has healing properties. We're just going to go back and drink from <laughs> Yep. Anyone who drinks from the spring get right now gets the effects of a full rest. All right. We'll follow suit. So um, if we're going to go extract some of this venom, does anybody have like a, a poisoner's kit or anything on them? I think there's one laying around in uh, Nerex's bag. If she left her here, but I think she might have taken it with her. Nerex has her you, bag on her. Yeah, yeah. do you want to rummage through the quite literal junkie monster hunter stuff? The one who actually does it for a living? I mean, I'm I'm actually really, really good with a poisoner's kit myself. I just don't actually own one. I'm not saying my preferred tool. Ah. Right. As I'm putting the last of the darts in my poisoner's bandolier. <laughs> Well, yeah, think... We just needed the poison sack. We just bring that. Uh, I still have my silver dagger. Yeah. Uh, would anyone like a bone short sword or a metal rapier? Uh, Minako, this rapier you lent me is nice and all, but uh, would you be better off with it, or do you already have one? I would not be better off with the rapier. No. Okay. Is that right? I don't care. Just leave it here if you don't need it. I'm I'm traveling light, so I'll just leave it by my bed. Just leave the rapier here, here at the house. You owe me money for that, by the way. You technically did steal it. I mean, you technically <laughs> gifted it to me. Well, after we stole it. <laughs> You stole it. I, are you the one who actually gave it to me? So, wherever the money was, it was in your hands. So. Anywho. Yeah, so, um, which direction are we going in? Southeast. 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 Okay, um, who knows which direction Southeast is? Uh, let's see, the sun rises directly in the east, so... I think all I think all, I think all of you would know. Well, though, that's actually a very good idea. Everyone, give me a survival roll. Let's see if anyone, <laughs> if any of you have any sort of directional prowess to you. Well, here's here's my question. Those of us that didn't live inside cities, would we? You have still you still need no. You still need to give me a survival roll because there are people who live out uh, out in the wild who have no sense of direction whatsoever. All right, cool. Uh, that is 24. 24, 21. 14. 14. No, public edu See, look at the stupid hey. city slickers. Public I, education at work, baby. I don't need to know. <laughs> so I'm not no from this plane. So surprisingly, I got surprisingly the enough, city in my surprisingly enough, all of you know which direction southeast is. It's a DC 10. It's not, it's not like you're trying to navigate through a storm or something like that. It's a clear, bright ass day on, in, in the in the desert. You're fine. With some with a decent breeze going on too. Yeah, I just I'm not playing that right now because that would DMCAS. Thank goodness. Fuck yeah. you, wind. <laughs> I can't believe they copyrighted the wind. I can't believe they cut. They out, didn't like, even copyright the wind that we used. They just copyrighted a similar wind. Fucking Yasuo mains. <laughs> That's true. It's the wind shitters. <laughs> hey. It's a windy day. <sighs> we have to make our own wind noise. Oh, wait. On. Wait, my, I forgot. I can't do wind sounds because my microphone won't actually pick it up because of RTX voice. I mean, that's a good thing, though. 
Um, it is actually. But if uh, uh, we we my husband did happen to bring your uh, little skiff uh, back from the crash site while you were doing your <laughs> little adventure. Oh wow! Um, Who the fuck knows how to drive that thing? I want to take a look at it. Let's take a look at it real quick. Make sure it's 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 a, it's a it's a little beat up. It, you're yeah. you, you're gonna it's gonna need some uh some little uh, love and care before it gets underway. But I could I've been hanging out with Sven a little bit. I could try my hand at it. Oh, you've been hanging out with Sven at, at the very least. Just take a little some bit. notes. I'm gonna need to take some notes of it at least and let Sven know what's going. I don't on think it. any of you have the tools in order to fix said thing. Yeah, but we can see a broken board. <laughs> Yeah, but unless unless you have the tools and training, you are going to be like seriously Basically, hindered, and you have the chance, you have the ability to fuck it up even more. I can hotwire I'm it. A, with my I'm, these tools. I'm making a checklist for Snit for when he gets back to fix up this. The, or like, certain areas that are major issues that are pretty obvious, but they're they're notated. Hear least. me out. We could take a joyride. The bike is there. Oh. The, the, oh. the the bike is there and the bike is in like still in good condition because it wasn't crashed and I can refuel it as and a I'm... player right now Julian she's already going to be mad at you for dissing Resident Evil <laughs> you want her to hunt you down I mean oh. I mean oh. Uh, uh, on the, oh. you could all fit in that bike two could sit in the, in the sidecar and two can sit on the main bike and 10 miles is nothing 10 miles you is know, nothing go take it easy on it I wouldn't <laughs> mind trying it out and I am really really good with land vehicles uh, all in favor say aye aye for the shit housery of it who fucking cares? Let's go. <sighs> okay. Right, dibs on driving. You guys I'm, I'm, I'm getting sidecar. Uh, I'll be I'll be behind Callion. So. Oh great! I get to sit with Zillark. Okay. No, you're on the other side, of it, aren't you? Or is no, it, the sidecar. It it's on one side. Sidecar. It's one sidecar. One sidecar. Side no, oh, it's no one sidecar side with two seats. Not saddlebags. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> what kind of motorcycle do you see with more than one sidecar? Uh, no, it, it was it was the joke that Snit that added a sidecar for each of you. Yes, that was the joke. <laughs> it was like it's like the it's like the motorcycle from the opening of Metalocalypse where they've got like the four sidecars. Yeah. It had to be balanced. So, <laughs> you know, Mina, our ideas don't always align, but this one, I think, is one of your best ideas yet. They're taking Dad's car out for a joyride. <laughs> don't do it. Stop. Um, yeah, and I can I can just refill it when we're done. They'll never know. They'll never know. See, Cal, you can live a little. I think she proved we'll that see. when she actually took the. If we damage it, I won't be living for very long. Oh, but you'll go out in the blazing glory. <laughs> this is true. Let's see, Nerex try to catch up. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Actually, yeah. What are you, you worried about? She does. Fueled by rage, she could probably move pretty fast. I don't know about that. Yeah. All right. This so, stupid uh, bird was trying to dodge lightning. If everybody is uh, getting on the uh, the Nerex cycle here, uh, Callie, can I get a vehicle handling check from you? You sure can. We are so fucking dead. I <laughs> am going to be the last one to get on. That is going to be a twenty-four. Okay, so you you've seen uh you've seen Nerex a couple times now. Start this thing up, and uh you have the premise on how to handle the bike without it being too much of an issue. Uh, it's a bit surprising when you initially start it and you know kick off because it's got a lot of kick to it. You didn't expect it to be something that is the equivalent of riding a a, a wild horse, but. It, ta it takes a couple moments and, you know, you swerve a little bit here and there, but you finally steady yourselves out and you begin taking off to the southeast. Um, Can I get a percentile roll from you? Hey, this is where I screwed up. Yeah, okay, so, so 
I was thinking about this when we um like on travel rolls where you guys are operating the vehicles you don't we don't need to do a vehicle handling and then the op and then like the skill roll and the percentiles vehicle handling is technically your skill roll and then percentiles is just what happens uh, so the percentile is a very nice 69 very nice hey, nice oggy woggies oggy woggies so as you're going on on your first leg uh, like pretty much the only leg of your journey because going 10 miles in an hour is nothing um it doesn't take you too long to notice the um to get uh a, a grasp of where this uh this boneyard is as you can see a couple buzzards like circling it uh over in the sky um Though, strangely enough, there is a small, single-treed oasis, maybe a good 500 feet from the entrance of the Boneyard. I will um, point it out to the rest of the group. I don't know if we can talk to each other while we're on this oh, yeah. thing oh yeah yeah it's, it's like you're you're, cl you're close enough and you guys just yell at each other okay or so, we can uh, use uh, the ring or yeah oh, or uh, you could use your rings because you know you have walkie talkies right. yes we do so i'll point it out um see if the the group wants to head over to that little oasis or go right into the graveyard Uh, Zalark speaks into his ring, just goes, we're going to die anyway. Just whatever you guys want. Possibly pulling off to the side and walking in would be better. So I'll, I'll head towards the oasis then. Um, and if it looks safe upon approaching, I'll bring the bike right up to it. Um, if there's any anything there at all that makes me feel uneasy or just weird about it, I'll stop the bike a ways back and we can walk in. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me a an investigation roll. Investigation. Uh, it's not good, but it's not my worst. It's only a minus one. Uh, Eleven. Could I... Oh, I was 11 say, I help <laughs> it looks fine it doesn't ne doesn't necessarily look like it's too much of an issue it's it's a small it's a small pool of water probably about probably about the circumference of a kiddie pool okay um I'm gonna bring the the bike in close not too close to the water because I don't want to get it stuck um but I'll bring it like to the edge of the oasis area and then stop it so we can get off and investigate. Okay. So who is all going out there? I'm gonna take point, actually. Join you? Right behind you. Do, uh, what was I gonna say? What did you say there were trees or anything? Uh, there's a single solitary tree. This almost well. this almost looks like the uh This almost looks like the uh stereotypical oasis drawing that you see on, on like in cartoons and whatnot. No gators no gators or anything like that it's just a lone oasis well we should probably at least chain up this bike to that just in case yeah. i don't want to be the one to explain to nerix that <laughs> not only did we take her bike but we let it get stolen you have five rope. That's okay. So 
just gonna tie tie the bike like through the uh, the axle bar to the tree. If uh, Callie can move it over there, real quick. Yeah, I'll move it close enough that you can do that. Okay. And then after it's nice and secure, uh, we'll just kind of start walking in. Before we start walking, could, are, are you walking into the oasis or the uh, boneyard? She's looking at the boneyard, but she's look, she's actually walking towards the oasis. Okay. Thing. I want to just do a, a thorough investigation of the oasis just to make sure it's a safe place to park the bike. Okay. And that is a 17. A 17? The oasis itself seems fine. Though when you look inside the water, you see this large, like, coiled type, like, snake-like being. Not necessarily a snake, more a monstrous sort of creature. Just laying in the pool of water. And you notice that there's, like, this sm like these small green wisps sort of emanating off of it as it just sits there it just kind of starts walking into the water a little bit what are you doing soaking my feet um can i get a constitution saving throw from you sure uh, 17 17 Okay, so you you put your feet in the water and you feel like something sort of like clinging to it. Yeah. As you uh, the uh, and the green whips wisps seem to like slowly try to like seep into your skin, but you're able to fight off whatever it is. Uh, Miracle's gonna send her echo to like fl like fly tackle her from the front to like knock her back on the okay the she dirt. backflips out of it if she can yeah there's it's no it's no grasp or anything it's more just a secretion it's like, oof. What that? uh definitely don't touch the water i guess yeah mm. i mean oh, well. what's better than a large venomous snake that. There's a snake down there. Oh, you didn't see it. Uh, yeah, and when you I, look, and when you look, there's just like this huge, like snake, like creature down there, just coiled up at the bottom of the water, just laying there, with like the green, like the you green. You tell me, you saw that, and you didn't feel the need to tell anybody. About it. It's I right mean, fucking there. I didn't I, see it. I wasn't looking for it. Listen, I get you, like, whatever fucking elf you are, you guys don't see well, but it's. <laughs> That's true. Right there. It's right there. Speaking of which, goggles. Mm, that's slightly better. Uh, by the way, did it look like humanoid snake or just like snake? Snake. Okay. It looks like a huge snake. All right. Yeah. Zellick just uh, kind of goes like this and then like, uh, and then Somar kind of just comes out of the coat uh cup. yeah i know about so it's like we've met that we have not met i'm just saying it's <laughs> either way it's there if someone comes over seeing the bike thank you Zella. piss that off they'll kill them so good enough let's just go to the boneyard sound plan uh, right. follow me i guess let's go kill the spider or get killed yay she said it turned ghostly? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would raise you know anything I about spirits? Can't be hurt nope. while I do that. <laughs> nah. As, aside, aside from like legend and just like scary tales you've been told as a kid, you're not, yeah, really, like, you're, you, she, you're not really somebody that... What are some of the legends and tales of ghosts in this country, this continent? That would be nice to learn. Hmm scary like tune in to story. next behold lore yeah exactly <laughs> first saturday of every month 
So <laughs> this next episode is dedicating to characters like Bimmy. So have fun with that. Imagine a Bimmy in this voice. <laughs> there may be a Bimmy in here. There, yeah. 20 years, 21 years prior. Yeah, yeah 21 years or 20, 22 years before, uh, before the simulacrum ends. <laughs> there most definitely could be a Bimmy here. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, if somebody else wants to take the lead, I'll, I've got I'll it. Follow. Um, I think I'm gonna ask Ruger to watch from above, and I'll kind of look through his eye. Yeah, see if he can find the ghost freaky spider thing. Yeah, because Ivy said that it's like stealthy, right? So if we can be watching from above as well, hopefully we won't be jumped. All right. Uh, once we actually start crossing that threshold, uh, try to keep close to each other. That way we know if something happens. Yeah, and, and keep an eye on the ground too. Um, Trapdoor spiders are a scary thing. And if this is like a big mutant trapdoor spider, I don't want to be pulled into its home. I don't want to be here. <laughs> yeah. Ali, you'll be the first one out, I swear. Usually, yeah. <laughs> you know, we could have just, I mean, it'd be cruel, but we could have just, you know, I mean, been, been done with it. Something tells me that doesn't actually end everything for that particular point. Just a weird feeling. Oh, d d believe me. Once the head's severed from anything, it's pretty much the end. I feel like and this is like just her macabre sense like she thinks that the head would just grow tentacles and start walking around <laughs> wait are you i mean it will now <laughs> are you suggesting cutting the heads off of our friends i mean they're not really friends i mean if we were in a worse situation no we couldn't do anything well, are we doing all this while walking i mean yes Okay. I mean, I didn't. I didn't say we sh we should do it, but we could have, and it's saved it's ourselves this whole trip. You're good at hypotheticals, right, Kelly? Yeah, you love hypotheticals. Well, what if the spider's not bad? Oh, Mister Ghost Spider, why don't you parley with me and please give me your poison? I mean, that's that's the other. That's the other side. That's the other extreme one. But no, I don't like to have hypothetical of cutting the heads off of our friends. So they're, one of them's your boyfriend. The other people were kind of... No, no, no. I don't even know what the fuck they are. Uh, one of them's an elf that has, like, whatever rage has got going on, and the other one's mm. a half-devil that may or may not have <laughs> sold us out. Uh, and then mm. didn't sell us out in the end. No, I don't think she has what I have. She just kind well, of flaunts uh, well, away. I mean, the, <laughs> the necklace. Oh, the, the necklace, necklace thing? That fucking that's, moron. That's something else. That's something else entirely. Yes, I'm not talking about whatever you and your like. What about you and all your stuff? Uh -huh. Time and space and bullshit. <laughs> I am a young fledgling witch. Good. You are a dragon woman, as far as I can tell. As as we Not start a approaching, Zellark just stealths away from the group. Like, <laughs> like there's going to be a point where they just don't even realize I'm there. Okay. It's very easy for me to go to ignore Zellark, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, you're going to have to beat my perception. 21. It wouldn't be a perception roll. It'd be just... It would be uh, passive because you're not passive. actively searching. Yeah, no, no. yeah, you got it. You got it. <laughs> yeah, and I yeah, I have one of the highest passive perceptions, and that's still way above my my ability to notice. Shadow. I mean, I was just saying, <laughs> as cruel an idea as it was, we could have just saved us the trip. Yeah. At this I mean, point, I'm least, kind of turned away from the conversation. At least you admit that it's a cruel idea. That's progress. Well, I never said it was wrong. <laughs> I'm 
going to take what I can get here. <laughs> okay. And at that point, I'll, I'll ask Ruger to emerge and uh, watch from above. And he pops out of your eye socket again and takes to the air. Um, Is that getting less painful as it goes on? Nope. It's, it's it's not necessarily a pain. It's kind of like when you like thunk your head against the wall. There's just that 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 weird that, daze. that dull daze that runs through you for just that brief moment. It's just that. You know, you know what it is? It's the the freaking stick of gum with the magnet. <laughs> that like just stiffens your entire arm when you pull it. That's what it is. <laughs> I mean that 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 is that is a a good analogy for it. <laughs> <laughs> um but Ruger takes to the air and like you can see out of his, you can see out of his eye that there doesn't necessarily seem to be a lot of uh activity going on in on the ground of the, the boneyard um again there are a couple large vultures flying above uh circling it uh but the only thing he tech he sees at the moment is a Solitive, uh, uh, a, 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 uh, solitary figure in a shimmering bluish black cloak, kind of sifting through the bones. Every now and then, grabbing something and like putting it in a bag. I will alert raise you to that. Oh. In what direction? Just kind of looks over as she's pointing. He's he's still a bit of a ways away. He's he's in the boneyard itself as you guys are oh. walking towards it. Mm. Might might just be a scavenger or something. I say we could possibly follow the scavenger. Use the scavenger as uh, kind of a warning system. And can you go having this information see if this might be a trap? What do you want to do to see if this can like, be a trap? See, see if like the scavengers like bait. Uh, from where you're at, no, you wouldn't be able to because you don't see him. The only one that sees him wandering around is Ruger at okay. the moment because you guys are you're still about a good 500 feet away, like four or 500 feet away from the entrance of the boneyard while Ruger's flying overhead. If we don't have to interact with the the cloaked figure, we don't have to. So we'll do our own search. If they end up leaving, they leave. If they end up trying to talk to us, I guess we could try to be polite. But yeah. uh, all else sense, it's just another person there that could potentially be eaten by the spider, as far as I can tell. Uh, I'll keep. Ruger in the air and, and let you know if they move or when we're getting close. Um, and Ruger, if we get into trouble, just come right back, okay? Uh, I'll do that. Um, Raju, as you're walking, you're noticing that your pendant, like underneath your shirt, is kind of like jumping around. Mm -hmm. She'll kind of like hold it in her hand. And uh, like when you pull it out a green light shoots from the the gem towards the bone graveyard uh, well whatever that signaling knows as a straight line to us and we have a straight line to it so no more hiding for this part this is well, going... we don't know we don't know if it's the spider that has it whatever is around is signaling us out now put that thing away she will is it she'll take note of where it's pointing towards and then as the day goes on like if we're in a certain area where it's shining towards, oh it's shining dead on into the boneyard into the boneyard yeah like left right center it, it's just a straight line it, okay, do, it doesn't will, curve or anything like that it gives just a straight line indication will, of where it's trying to lead you uh, she will Tuck it away for now, and then wait until they're actually in the boneyard. I can't believe we might actually find another one of these. It's strange. Huh. 
Oh, anyway, uh, I'm going to keep my eyes open again. Uh, where did Satellite go? He right behind us? He disappeared like he always does. Zellark, I think you're, that's probably for the best. Zellark, you're probably about to get 100 feet ahead, ahead of everyone else. All right, yeah, I was trying to keep close-ish, but just... Yeah. Kind of scouting ahead. Yeah. Up to the uh the entrance of the boneyard, you don't necessarily see anything. You know, as in most cases of boneyards, the the areas around it are normally devoid of life. Things yeah. tend to uh tend to avoid the smell of death unless you're a vulture or some sort of other uh carnivorous creature that feeds on carrion, but yeah. Uh, are are there things I can kind of? Sorry, have yelled, there, kids. Are there things, <laughs> uh, there are things that you can what? Uh, kind of dash to hide behind. Like it's open here. Or, there, it, okay. it's a desert. It's devoid of life. There's the only the only plant life you've seen recently is that solitary tree back at the oasis. I, I didn't even know if there's like mounds of bones or anything nope. that you know, could help with my stealthing. Nope. Nor, n n uh, basically, your stealthing at this point was you just, you were just slipped, you slipped away unnoticed. You didn't go invisible or anything like that. Yeah. It was just everybody else was arguing, so you just did the Zellark thing and walked off. Okay. I'm just curious. Give the Irish goodbye. <laughs> yeah, he he's like, he, he had enough of your guys' bullshit and decided to go off and, you know, start the adventure. Exactly. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh, just start walking in and actually start looking around for tracks or mm -hmm. anything like that. Like the closer you get, like you see faint tracks. It's obvious that there hasn't been a sandstorm through here yet, but you do see tracks um, belonging to like various animals and whatnot that have may have passed by, but nothing that signifies humanoid or anything of that nature. That's good. Um, Zellark, when you reach the uh, entrance to the bone, uh, the boneyard, um. It goes down a bit at an angle. Um, and as you follow it down, you begin to see remnants of bones of long dead creatures sort of like jutting out from the sand um, where they haven't been covered by various sandstorms and the like. And they're all are all makes and designs of creatures down here from just small uh, like small vertebrae skeletons of snakes to large rib cages that you assume maybe belong to like smaller varieties of dragons. Um, but there's there's a yeah. there's a bit of a feel of unease when you walk down here as well as things maybe. You get you get the feeling that things may be a bit unrestful. All right. Uh, do I see anything like the person who is? You, you're you're not you're not in that area yet. You're just now entering into the boneyard. Okay. And you, you um, uh, like, are you going to wait for everyone, or are you going to still continue on on your own? I'm going to slow my pace, but like as stealthily as I can try to use the bigger bones and stuff to you know, like sneak around uh, to kind of. Yeah, you, you so like, as, as you're sneaking around and everything, you get this feeling that something is watching you. Like try as you might try as you try to stealth behind everything. It feels like something all around you has eyes on you. 
like the moment you walked into like the main like the main landing um of this boneyard your uh your presence was detected all right then i'm going to kind of pull back towards the edge of the boneyard and just wait, wait for them to okay not necessarily in view but just wait for them to get closer okay and it, it doesn't take too long because like i said you were only about 100 feet ahead of them and yeah they uh they kind of break down the horizon and everyone can now see zellark kind of waiting there for just a moment As they walk up, um, I'm just like, something's here. I feel like I've been been watched ever since I got into this area. Does it feel like uh, a person? Don't know. Was Ruger apparently spotted a person in blue and black robes? And it's at that time that he kind of comes down and flies back into your eye. You're probably going to need both of these when you go in there. Okay, so expect trouble, everyone. That makes sense. That's, I would still like to say I... That creature or being is still wandering around, though. Didn't notice me, and I don't get any feeling of malice from it, but yeah, there are most definitely things in there that... Uh, you may insult with your presence. <laughs> oh. So this We're may definitely not trespassing. just be oh, the domain of the spider. Well, it, as it said, it's an abomination. It could be in many things. Uh, everybody, weapons out. That way you're not completely off guard. My weapons oh. are always out. Might I recommend pulling out your quarterstaff? Oh, no, I don't like to use that. Well, just to poke and prod things. That way you're not using your hands. Well, that's why you're in front. And you're not... <laughs> you realize I also have a something, and I'm holding the silver dagger. It's like, I'm not going to touch things with my hands right now. I hopefully am not going to touch anything. Nice Zillark just taps his cane next to on his foot. It's like tap, 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 and then holds it up. Are we going? Yes. Yeah. Are you prepared? Zillark turns around and starts walking. And okay. yeah, Mino, Mino go well, like age before beauty, asshole. <laughs> Raise you will pull out the necklace and let the light shine again. And this it, 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 again, it just directs you deeper into the um, the boneyard. Uh, I'm gonna try to make uh, walk the best path that wouldn't necessarily disturb the ground if possible. There's no way to do that, okay? Like, just walking in here is disturbing the ground. Got it. Because it's sand. It, there, there's no like pathway or anything like that. You're literally I just, just I didn't know in. how big bone how big are some of the bones or you know they're varying like sizes. So okay. Well, this is all happening. Just as a not her main focus, but if anything from what she knows she needs, she happens to see, she's gonna try to pick it up. Oh, there's there's nothing in here that you need. No bones, okay. No, you don't need bones so, for any of this. All right, so I don't need bones for this. Okay. Scratch that stuff off that, the list stuff of that you, Stuff that you need for the ritual is pretty much in the domain of the rare and weird. Okay. So, no bones. All right, so before we get into the... Uh, the boneyard situation here let's go ahead and take our first break for the day and when we get back we'll see what exactly awaits you in here
So uh, stick with us, guys. We'll be right back.
Okay, we're back. Oh, hi. Oh, Welcome hi. back. <laughs> yeah, what mine was a <laughs> mine was a duelist, so she used her rapier. Mm. It's that that like... campaign went went to. Uh... So you set foot, or you begin to set foot into the the boneyard. And much like Zellark, the moment you breach the uh, outer line of it, instantly you just feel eyes on you. A sort of inescapable dread, so to say, washes over you. Letting you know that you are definitely not alone here. There are, uh, there are beings just waiting for you to offend them in any way. The while most while none of you are specifically dedicated magic casters, you can feel the negative and necrotic energies like oozing off of the uh the bones in this area. don't like this place. Bijou's ley lines start kind of pulsing a bit. But other than that, she's just kind of like slowly entering her way in. She's not liking the necrotic feeling. Let's try and make this quick. Indeed. Um, is there a... Uh, like a telltale sign of what could be described as a large creature's passing through here? Not necessarily in here. It looks like any remnants of footprints or anything have been done away with. Would there be any kind of vantage point that she could probably like run up to? Not necessarily, not, like, not necessarily, it's not, like it's, it, it, not necessarily a vantage. It's not a maze. It's just a straight path of bones and random skeletal systems strewn about the ground. Well, if we're dealing with a spider in the desert, as you mentioned, there was a trap spider type. Yeah, hopefully that's not what this is, because just the very thought of that um, is making me want to turn around and leave. But I've never heard of it before. Is it like they have a trap door, or is it like a net? Yeah, so they like dig a hole in the ground, and then they use their their webbing to basically make a lid for that hole, and then they put webs all around the ground around it so they can feel when something walks there. And then when they feel those vibrations, they pop out of the hole and grab them and pull them in. Reggie's going to stop for a moment. You said webbing in the ground. Yeah, like really thin webs all across the surface. Like, you know how a spider builds a web normally, and then when something lands in it, they can feel the vibrations through that? It's like that, but on the ground instead Reju, of in the air. Reggie's going to take a knee and just kind of sift her hand through. There's no webbing. Mm. At least not where you're at. Zellark uh, puts Somar down and just tells him to kind of lead the way. And the moment you set him down, he comes right back of your arm and just nopes the hell out of it. Not bad, huh? All right. Is, I put you on a map, by the way. I see. Good sign uh, or yep, yep, yep. bad sign? Um, issues kind of up front. So, uh, Miniko's definitely has her echo ready. Zellark's gonna make his way towards these rocks. Um, Zellark cannot make his way towards the, these rocks. This area right here is sort of raised up. This is like a little stairway that kind of leads into the area but I want to. 
That's nice. It's nice to want things. <laughs> I mean, damn, get fucking get told. Right here. Does the light seem to be going further in? Uh, you're just being directed into the boneyard. It's not giving you any sort of indication as to where it is. All right, it's so like, and once you put, when you pull it out, when you're in here, it kind of just pulses with light. It doesn't even shoot a beam anymore, letting you know that whatever it's detecting is nearby. All right. Uh, okay. She'll put it away and say, well, whatever I'm looking for is in here, but uh, I'd rather not be distracted by it just yet. Um, let's just keep an eye out for that spider. Yeah? Okay. So as you say that, Reju, um, with a 27 to hit your armor class, a, uh, a string of webbing comes out and just nails Reju, kind of pinning her to the, uh, pinning her to the ground. Uh-oh. Uh, May I go to my echo? We'll cut, we'll cut her, like, loose. Um, did we see where it came from? Oh, let me, let me rephrase that. Reishu is hit by this webbing and you see her taken to the ground and then she's invisible. Oh. Great. Um, but is the webbing still there? They don't see the webbing. They just see you get hit and you're out. Um, uh, I'm, where did Reishu go? I'm Can I make here. it to this I'm rock? Here. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. Uh, do I know what direction it came from? Um, somewhere. And being stuck we... to the, look above the open sky above. Can we hear Rage you saying I'm still here? Um, yeah, because Callie asked where she went, and he's, she said, I'm still here. You can hear her, but you just can't see her. Yeah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's party time, baby. Uh, uh, she's gonna start prodding with the like the scabbard, not the uh, actual do I, sword. Do I still have mobility with, with like, sword. like I start? No, you like, are you are pinned and restrained uh, by the webbing. That's not good. Uh, yeah, Zelik immediately goes stealth, as stealth as he can. Okay, so just to let you know, stealth isn't like stealth mode. Like you just go invisible. It's hiding. Like yeah, you you hide. So is this rock? It's a right it's, it's a pretty big rock. Okay, so I would like to kind of just hide and try to meld into the cracks of that rock. Okay. Um, I'm going to sacred flame the webbing off of me if I can, or fire um, bolt it. Oh wait, no, you, I can't. you know, you're restrained. I, you I'm can't restrained cast your spells. And, and, yeah. So anything, oh, wait, no, anything, no, I, got, I got it, I got it, I got it. I anything got it. that I spend, I spend a sorcery point to do so. Uh, if it has a semantic or uh, if it has some sort of semantic component, semantic or uh, verbal component, yes. However, sorcery points say fuck that bullshit. Subtle spell. What does subtle spell do? <laughs> subtle spell. If I may be so bold, to put it out there real quick. Let's see, meta magic. Are you going to let me to go guess where you're at? Marco. So okay. subtle spell basically eliminates the ability to need any of those All right, so somatic or verbal. If you, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now that if you cast this spell, you're going to be taking the spell's damage on yourself. I'm trying to get free. Okay. So I'm go, literally right there ready to cut you off. So Just, go ahead and roll the damage. Right, or make, make an attack. Make an attack. Oh, make an attack first. That's definitely a hit. I hit myself. What'd you get? Um, I got a total of 24 okay. to hit the webbing. Journey Adventures, thank you for that raid. Oh, wow. Um, Welcome. So, yeah, you, uh, most, yeah, you most definitely burn away the webbing, but you're going to take the damage of the spell to yourself. That's fine. <laughs> I take uh, seven points okay fire damage thankfully and you burn it away and as soon as the webbing is away raise you's back in sight uh, she stands up if you were right there you realize i could cut the web right 
I don't trust you. Your attack would have been made with disadvantage, and if you missed, you would have just hurt Raju. You. We don't know that. <laughs> Raju. Oh, no, no, no. The DM is saying that. <laughs> no, I know. But and... we, the characters, would not know that. That's uh, a risk that Mina's willing to take. And as, and as soon as the webs are burned away, you kind of hear the thud of like multiple legs running along a, a hard surface, but you don't see what where it's at. Uh, she's going to blind fire straight north at this ribcage. Okay. And, and you, you just, blind fire, are you blind firing a spell? Firebolt, yeah. Yep, you shoot a firebolt and it just hits the rib. Just start, like, where's that coming mm. from? Like, does she hear exactly where it's coming from? Like, where it's going towards? And, uh, it's kind of, uh, it's a kind of all around you at the moment. Awesome. The, uh, the shape of the shape of the boneyard itself kind of throwing off a, uh, throwing off, off an echo of these footsteps. Just gonna take a moment to try and focus on the skittering noise and actually listen for it. All right, the skittering noise is there only for a moment and then it stops. All right. Um, can we do? It's not hot, Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, so basically Callie she's um you feel something like come behind you and just like drag across your back for just a brief second but no damage is done to you been playing with us Concerning. Um, no, it, it didn't hit. Is what it was. Okay. It's just like her armor protected her. So she'll uh, immediately spin around after feeling that. Um, and you spin around. Uh, what's your passive perception? Seventeen. Seventeen. For a moment, you see this outline of this large, multi-legged figure, almost like Predator style. Like you can see the invisibility for just a moment as it begins to like move like slowly move backwards putting a little bit of distance between you and itself upon seeing that can i reach into my bag and pull out one of my ink pots and try and throw it at it you most definitely can on the combustible ones i was gonna ask uh, could i have seen it too since i'm right there um, it, it, it was more that Callie sees it because it's right on Callie. Okay. This, I guess, is a ranged... Ran make a ranged attack with disadvantage. Okay. Uh, that will be... I don't know if that's going to be enough. Sixteen? Sixteen hits. Yes. So you, th you throw this ink and it it makes contact and the pot shatters as you see it splattered across uh, a portion of its body and everyone kind of hears just like this almost hiss and screech of frustration knowing that it's like technically now been marked and its invisibility is not going to help it in any way shape or form uh, it sort of go... slips out and this is where we are going to need to have oh Minico's gonna jump the moment she heard the crack um let me go ahead and bring pull this uh gentleman also Rosen, I need my echo because it would have already been out there's your echo thank you I and I can't control it looking. yeah so just so everyone can see it that's what it looks like Ooh. Oh, he's so cute it's in a not terrifying what I was way. Either. That's pretty cool. Heck yeah. Keep okay, that's that, that's more ant than spider. 
<laughs> it's a spider. The extra leg. It's a spider. I know it's. I know it's a spider. Funny enough, it has the anatomy of an ant. These spiders are what happens when a experiment goes wrong on a face spider. That's what I was thinking of was the face spider, but if give that's me a second. An accident. Oh. oh, work. Yep. Yep. All good. Anyways, one hundred percent. We get. If we would have gotten hot, Sheila Minoko would have betrayed you. I'm just <laughs> putting that out there. <laughs> Hot like, Sheila specifically. That, all that's right. fair. So if it's uh, the Spider uh, Queen lull, we're fucked. I mean, she's not as attractive Give me one as moment. people might think no she problem. is. No moment for you. Who? Lolf. Uh, let me let me Google this. Oh, uh, Drow like, Spider Queen of uh, uh, officially. Evil. Yeah. Her Drow her, Spider Queen. Lord. Her description okay. is not a pleasant one. Mm -mm. She. No. Okay. You you misunderstand me by what I mean by hot she lob. I know who you're talking about. You're talking about it's the one hot. from the anime, right? No. <laughs> Musume, I think that word no, is. No, no, hot Shelob is uh Shelob in the second Middle Earth or uh Mordor game. Sorry about that. Uh, Sh Shadow War. Shadow War, oh. that's hot Shelob. Alright. Mm. Yeah, the the hot elf lady, that's Shelob. Stupid sexy uh stupid sexy Shelob. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 uh, no. Uh, Spider Queen of the Drow? No, that's not how she looked. Okay. Alright, I need to roll for this uh, thing's initiative. Yeah, though, she's too spidery. Minako does require humanoid everything. Okay. Ooh, that's a terrifyingly high dex. Yep. So, uh, the spider is going to start this off on here. Oh, I should probably do mine. <laughs> Got it. Uh... First, I'm going to roll this. Okay, it doesn't recharge. Charging. All right, so a bit of frustration after what Callie, the bullshit that Callie just pulled, it kind of brings its front arms up and just charges. Is it too late to apologize to it? Too late to apologize. You can't do that. You can't do that. DMCA. <laughs> Why well, I only did the little bit of it? it doesn't matter. The the moment it detects it, it yeah. will DMCA you. Oh. Yeah, the rules changed a little bit. You like, like let's put it this way: like we, we were joking that if like somebody shouts Jason Derulo, like they That's would true. DMCA you it. You can't shout Jason Derulo. Anymore. Okay, so it's gonna make two bite attacks against Callie here. Uh, Callie does a twenty-four hit you. It sure does. All right, so you are going to take thirteen points of piercing damage. And twenty points of poison damage. Um. Oh, go ahead and give me a Constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw. I can do that. I can do that. That's twenty three. Okay, so you will take ten points of poison damage that instead of twenty. Still hurts a lot only we were level 10 i'd be immune and then for the second attack does a 18 hit you it does not it does not okay so the first like the first one bites into you and you feel just this almost like paralytic poison kind of like seeping into your body but you're able to shake off the condition 
and the second one goes to bite and it it kind of ca again catches your armor and just drags its fang down um let's see I don't think it's going to uh yeah it, it going uh going invisible isn't really going to help now that it's got the um that it's got the uh ink on it but I think what it's gonna do it's got a decent movement speed too is it's going to uh, skitter up the wall over to here and I make an attack on it as you as most way. you most definitely can uh, uh, as your reaction if you like all right beat it fast I don't think I'm going to that's a 14 to 14 hit. will not hit you throw that punch out and it barely just misses its body Zellark, you see the, the uh, spider climb up onto the wall and it kind of turns around and like looks at you. It's it's front legs kind of like moving up and down, trying to like intimidate you. Trying to like tell you to stay <laughs> the fuck away. <laughs> yeah, I just straight up was like, yeah, I can do that too. Uh, Callie. Well... can't do my normal aura thing because I'm going to go ahead and make the assumption that this thing's probably immune to being poisoned. So I think instead, let's see. Would I be able to take this path here to get to it? Uh, most definitely. Okay, we are going to do that then. We are right up on it. And we're going to start punching it. And hopefully hit this time. Punchy, punchy. Uh, nope. That's another 14. That's going to miss. We're going to punch again. That's a little bit better. That's going to be a 23 to a hit. A 23 will hit. That's the wrong die. That's a D8. Should be a D6. That is going to be ten bludgeoning damage. Ten. And um, I... are are your punches considered magic yet? They are now. Yes. Okay. I am also going to stunning strike that blow, so it needs to make a Constitution saving throw. Uh, what condition is this for? Stun. Stun. Uh, it is immune. Damn. That's okay. So we're going to spend another key point to Flurry of Blows. First attack is an 18 to hit. 18 hits. The eight bludgeoning damage. Second attack is a 16 to hit. A 16 will hit as well. Nice. Ooh, max damage. That will be 11 bludgeoning damage. Very nice. And that is the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, raise you. She's going to go back up the steps real quick. Those are, it's, that's down, but yeah. Oh, down? Okay. Yeah. So, fair enough. Um, back down the steps, and is she still able to see the spider from there? Not from where you're at, no. No? Okay, so she will use an action to double back. Go around to about there. And she will... If you're throwing anything, you need to be one down. Because that down. rock is technically blocking your sight. Because okay, so it's large enough there. for it's large enough for Zellark to hide behind. <laughs> All right, so she'll get right about there, and it does seem to be within thirty feet of me now. 
Um, Andy Dandy Ruler says he is exactly 30 feet from you. Hey, uh, I've already used my action. Bonus action. I don't have any bonus action spells, so I'm actually done for the turn. Alrighty. Uh, Zellark. I pull up my gun. Well, and shoot it. I'm going to go with my uh, normal and opener and uh, cast Fairy Fire in that area. Okay. Bring up so, fairy fire because I think they need to make a saving throw, correct? No, it's an area of fact. Here, bring bring, bring up fairy fire because I do believe they do get go. they they do get some sort of save. Yeah, it's a dexterity save. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's got to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, that is going to be a fifteen. So it does save. Okay, so he's it's not going to be outlined in the uh the light. mm Hmm. But uh, okay. Well, shit. Then at that point, I will, uh, Wing around to the back of the rock. Okay. Minako. Um. Minako's gonna send her echo there because I can't move it. You, like you have the most. This thing has the hardest time of like staying with directions. And give me a second. Let me uh. There, you should have control of your echo now. Yes. And then it doesn't matter because we're swapping places. Okay. And she will move. Is this still like good or is this no, like that's fine. an that's incline? Good. Okay. That's good. And she is going to uh, attempt to hit, but history shows us she's not good at the monster hunting thing. <laughs> great she, killer she, of people. She, she, great a great not, slayer of humanoids, but monsters not so much. Not to mention uh, shrimp-shaped uh, creatures as well. Shrimp-shaped weapons. Shrimp. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> wait, wait, hold up. I forgot I have these things. Um. Wait, let me let me read something. Okay. I know I know Callie can definitely hit my deck save, but. <laughs> oh, that's right. You have spells. Me? <laughs> I'm going to throw an AoE down and hope that the party can withstand uh, the damage. Oh, no. This is a very, like, like, like spoken like a, a true black mage. It's a very immediate. Uh... Everyone adjust. <laughs> oh, no, but the damage sucks. Never mind. Uh, I was going to sword burst. This, what does this do? I have spells. Wait, is is sapping sting considered a ranged attack? If it says it, it tells you to make a bait, uh, a ranged uh, attack roll, or if it has a range to it. You, uh, you see, you sap the vitality of one creature you can see in range. What's the range? Uh, um, it should, it, it, on they, the spell, it should say target. They have to make a, a con save, so it's not an attack roll. Oh, so it's just... There should still be a range on it, though. Uh, 30 feet. 30 feet. Yeah. Yeah. So it's My spells suck. <laughs> you chose them. <laughs> Well, like, there's only so much I could do at first level. I mean... Like, Magic Missile does go burr, but... You know, I don't care. Magic Missile just isn't even an attack roll. Why the fuck am I questioning it? I'm Magic Missling. Okay. 
Everyone's like, oh, this is just a- wait, no, it's magic missile. Magic missile's The spider uses shield. I swear to God. Don't uh, you put that evil you're on lucky, me, Ricky you're, Bobby. You're, you're, you're lucky that this isn't one of the, uh... Uh, this isn't one of the, um... Our, our arcane-inclined spiders. Oh, God. Uh, do, I, do I roll a d4 for each missile, each, or is it each just... Missile. Each yeah. missile, yeah. yeah. And yeah, oh, and it's, it's, it's three, right? It's three, yeah. At level one, it's three. I have two because I have bloodlust right now, baby. You have two um, D4? Or? Well, no, like one additional damage from my card. Oh, got, gotcha. Okay. Oh, yeah, you do have that. You've got I get hit easier, but I, but I hit harder. I forgot you drew th from your uh, Taroka deck today. Yes. The only reason why I have to uh, have uh, Von Richten's guide next to me during this ga game is because specifically that deck. Uh, a total of 12 damage. 12 damage. Already? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna As you waste point blank fire the, uh, the uh, magic missiles into its body. You doing anything else? Are you gonna stand there? I shouldn't stand here, but I'm gonna. Okay. I'm okay with that. Maybe it'll hit you instead right. of me this time. I'm a lot easier to hit right now. Well, not a lot. I'm just like by one. But since she is wounded, you know, predator that it is is gonna go after Callie. Uh, I mean, first, that's fair. First fight attack is it. a dirty 20. Yeah, that'll hit. Um, That's going to hurt a lot. I uh, mean, the first one hurt a lot, too. Um, okay. Wait, why am I? Oh, that's right. All right, so that's going to be 36 piercing damage. Oh. And can I get a constitution saving throw? You sure can. Uh, that's going to be an 18. 18? Uh, that's going to save, so you're only going to take half. That's going to be 21 total, so you're going to take 10 more poison damage. Okay, uh, so I'm not dead, thankfully, but I am down. Okay, so be because you uh, you were down by the poison, uh, you are you are stabilized, but you are paralyzed for an hour. Even if you were to regain hit points, you are still paralyzed for an hour. Yep, those poisons are nasty. And then it's gonna it's going to like look at um, it's gonna look over to Minako and make its second bite attack. You ain't shit, bitch. Uh, that's gonna be a 27 to hit. Yeah, okay. Maybe you are a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's gonna be 17 piercing. It's not horrible. And I'm gonna need a constitution saving throw from you. Give me a sec. I need to do math. Okay. And a con Next save? Step. And a con oh, save. Oh, I'm good at these, but watch me roll a one. Next session is going to be oh, Siren, Eric, and yeah. Snip. Uh, 20, uh, 26. 26, Not 20. very nice. So this is Not only 20. Half, this is half damage. You're, you're going to take a total of five poison. Okay, cool. I see. I told you, you you're not that person, Spider. You're not that um, guy. And then uh, it shoots its webbing at you. Oh, uh, of course, because it... Um, that's going to be a 12 to hit. No, oh, yeah. not even with the boost. As it flies overhead and just slams into the wall for a brief moment before turning invisible. The webbing, not the spider. Oh, okay. I was going to be really upset. And then, much like before... It's gonna skitter over to here. All right, so I, had, I have a question. 
if you want to make an attack of opportunity, Mina, you can. Uh, yes. Although, I don't know if that'll work right now because I remember the last time we fought something magical and we couldn't hit it with conventional weapons, but I'm gonna try. Uh, nat 20. Very nice. For a total of 26. That'll hit. Uh, so it's, uh, 1d8. It's brutal. So it's, it's, it's brutal. It's brutal, That's yeah. A plus five is thirteen, so fourteen plus. Where's my eight? There it is. But well, max damage on both. Uh, so that's twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight total. Very nice. Swing. Uh, and you're using just your your sword, right? And, yeah, it's my katana. Okay. I can't wait for this to be not mean shit. Um, <laughs> it still takes damage, but it only takes half. Okay, so it still did 18, uh, 14 damage. It still did 14 damage, but yeah. I can't believe you're robbing me of this. I'm... Bl <laughs> blame, blame Wizards of the Coast. They're the ones who... <laughs> I can't believe I'm being robbed. Nerfed. Actually, no, no, I'm sorry. Blame Go Cobalt Press. They're the ones who made this one. <laughs> <laughs> I have a no, technical don't blame them, question love them. for you. Yes. Um, so, according to Fairy Fire, it says every object uh, in the thing that's has... If, that that's fails if they the fail. Same. That's if they fail. But no, it says every uh, object affected. is oh. affected, but the creature has the thing. The ink... On no, the it spider. Not. It would not. It would <laughs> Damn. Not. <laughs> Damn. We're being robbed left and right. <laughs> nice try, though. The glass shards. We are. We are. I, I mean, I had I had to. Then the cork, too. All right. Callie, you are stable, but paralyzed. Um, Raise you. Seeing how it skittered off, she's just booking it right into it. All right, so give me a moment. So you notice a strange figure over here with its back turned to you, sort of looking at the small clear blue crystal kind of like embedded into a wall. Right, right here. And it, it, it's facing away? Yeah, it's facing away. It's in a, it's in a, a very long flowing bluish black cloak. Kind of like what Ruger described that he saw. But he doesn't seem to be paying attention or even minding what's going on behind him. Okay. Well, since his back turned, uh, I'm going to upcast Inflict Wounds at second level on the spider. On the spider. So here's hoping I get a hit. All right. Bring up Inflict Wounds. All righty. Uh, Okay. So basically 40 10 if I hit. Uh, that's going to be a total of 18 to hit. 18 will hit. So give me that 40 10 necrotic. Must be roll one. <laughs> that's always a risk. Uh, 7 and 2 is 9 plus 18. 20 total damage of necrotic damage. Very nice. As you reach up and you touch the spider, you can see like where uh, the uh, the impact points slowly start to like rot away, skin uh, skin slowly like flaking off to the ground and evaporating in a hiss. Sure. Um, and then as a bonus action, she's going to spend a key point to take the dodge action. Probably a good idea, since Ooh. you pro you you have. Barely piss this thing off. Oh yes. Uh, I, yeah. Zellark. Yeah. Um, how far away am I? Within twenty-five feet. Range on that is twenty. Um. Screw it. I guess uh, I'm going to move up to here and throw a uh, poison dart at him. Okay. Uh, that's a 
Nope. What'd you roll? Uh, I rolled a two. Well, at least it's not a one. You don't hit raise you. Yeah. So imagine that if I was mean and I had brutal failures on here. Yeah. I mean, so that was we, a we seven. Not put it past you. Oh yeah, a seven will yeah. not hit. That that yeah. that dart goes wide. And uh, then I'm like, "All right, you. It's up to you." And uh, do a bardic inspiration. And then we'll see if I get to use it. Do surround the back of the. Uh, Go back rock. around the rock. Yep. <laughs> All right, Minako. Okay. Minako's echo will like hover above this rock. And let's see if I list my movement like because. I think you can get there. Oh shit! I can. Oh hell yeah! Yeah. I'm gonna move up there and swap places. So you're on top of the rock, and the echo is now in front of the spider. Yes, because the echo is all magic. Uh, the echo's gonna attack. Like my attack is gonna come from the echo. Yep. Uh, does a... And do I just get plus one to damage or also to the attack roll? It's plus one to damage. Okay. Uh, so does a 17 hit. 17 will hit. Okay, cool, cool. And then it's a D8 damage. Uh, nine damage. Nine damage. Very good. And I have, I have double attack, so... Uh, second swing. Uh, that'll definitely hit then for 20 30 20 30 20 will hit yeah uh for eight for four damage for four okay yeah and let me see because i think i can keep my turn uh is action surge just you do it or is that a bonus yeah action? yeah you just do action, it uh, yeah action surge you can just do it cool yeah. so yeah i action surge so i get my attacks again mm-hmm. <laughs> yep so you can direct uh, your echo to attack again if you want. Yep. Uh, another dirty 20. That'll hit. For four damage. And it'll attack one last time for 20 something. Uh, 24. And that'll be eight damage. Eight damage. All right, yeah, and you so, notice that every one of these attacks are like cutting in as they should. It, it, it's not necessarily resisting anything from the echo. Yeah. Um, back up to the spider. Um, pissed off that somebody decided to give it a uh, very bad high five is <laughs> going to make uh, well, let me roll for recharge first. Yep, it recharged. Okay, it's going to make two attacks against uh, Reju here. Um, first one is going to miss, I would assume, with an 11. Yes. Uh, second one, though, will hit with a 28. Ah, uh, even with disadvantage. Damn. Um, no. So that is going Only to be... 29. Wow, that's that's actually low damage here for the piercing. That might be low. good. Uh, you're yeah, gonna, low you're damage. Gonna take, you're going to take 10 points of piercing damage. All right. I, roll, I rolled like shit on those. Um, can you give me a constitution saving throw? I can most definitely try. Ah, straight up 15. You barely make it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so it would have been eight, it would have been 18 poison, but you're going to take nine because you saved. Okay. And then. It's looking really bad. Raise you does a 24 hit you. Ah, even with disadvantage. Fuck. Yes. Okay. So it's it you're gonna catch a face full of web and once again restrained and invisible. <laughs> right where I'm at, huh? Right where you're at. Okay. Um and Don't worry, just catch yourself on fire again. Alright. I got sorcery points, we're good. It's gonna skitter off over to here. Still within range. (laughs) 
Um, Callie, you're having a nice little nap. Raise you. You are once again in a bunch of webs and invisible. And she's going to spend another key, or not key point, a sorcery point. Well, you could technically make a strength check in order to break out of it if you want. She's not attempting to do that right now. Okay. She's really trying to just fire bolt the hell out of it. Okay. Um, she will subtle spell it so she doesn't have to do the wavy wavy. She just literally stares fire at it. Um, so this is going to be 2d10 if I hit. Are you throwing, are you shooting it at the spider? Yes. Okay. AC 24. AC 24 will definitely hit. All right. Here comes the fire damage. Just a straight up 10 total. Okay. The fire. It's still up and you are restrained and invisible. Uh, bonus action. I do it with key points. Mission defense. Can't do that. Step the wind. Can't do that. Where are the blows? I can't strike. Um. Oh, I should have used that ability, favored by the gods. Oh, well. No, actually, that doesn't affect my AC. Never mind. Um, turns over. Okay. Zellark. Well. Nothing I'm doing is working at all. Um... Okay, I'm going to move to there, so I'm 60 feet from it, and do uh, cast Desonant Whispers at second level. Uh, can you bring that up, please? Careless Whispers at second level. Being a bard on Twitch sucks right now. Can't sing anything. How I felt during our last uh, Christmas one shot. Oh, Zellark, what a what? Okay, dice so I just it? wanted to make sure that it it, it it only had to hear you. All right, it's gonna make a wisdom saving throw. Sorry, Zellark. Uh, what was the? Is it a D six? It's gonna be a six. Question? It's gonna be a sixteen saving throw. 16 okay it saves um and i'll put there there's bardic inspiration for you so that's half right uh, yep. half yeah yeah it takes half damage 3d6 five he takes five he takes ten five total. okay it is still up. And then, so I was here, so five, 15. I'm gonna go back to where I was. Probably <laughs> not surprising. Minako. Uh, she's going to move forward. So 30 feet, like both Oops. her and the Echo. Okay. Um. I don't like this whole fucking running away thing. So, I'm just gonna do what she tested out on Zellark to great effect. Uh, I am going to magnify gravity at around the the spider. Okay. Can you bring up magnified gravity? Yes, uh, it's right there. Uh, gravity 10 foot radius sphere centered on a point you can see each creature in the sphere on that turn must make a constitution saving throw uh, that is going to be a constitution it... saving throw of 12 yes so does that save if it meets if it meets yeah oh your spell DC save is 12 okay yes um It takes half damage though, so go ahead and give me the half damage. 
So one D eight. No, no, you give me, you roll two D eight. Oh yeah, and yeah, then yeah, you yeah, have, yeah, yeah. You have the total number. And it automatically kills familiars. Oh, it's not a familiar. <laughs> but some are was. I would uh, be terrified if that thing was somebody's familiar. Total, uh, it, total is nine. Nine. So, so, so four or five. So as you magnify gravity, you see its body can't necessarily handle the weight that you've been put on it. Even though it saves, it kind of slumps down to the ground dead. <sighs> Fuck spiders. I have to kind of agree on that as she just kind of walks back towards Cali. Uh, you can't. You are still restrained. Try to break Making out. my way to give Cali. Me a str- give me a strength check. <laughs> uh, total of one with a negative one modifier. No, you struggle and you are just bound up at the moment. Yeah, she's, uh, just, she's just constantly going... Rrr. Manico's gonna take out her knife and you can't, you can't see you me. You can't see her. No, but she's gonna have Reiju guide hot. Am I hot or cold, Reiju? Warmer. And she'll start like moving till she tells me to stop. Uh, right there. You're still and, you, like just a little to the you right. You are not gonna. And, you're, you're not gonna be able to hit her. I'm it's a, a knife. It's a knife. It's only D4 if I accidentally hit her. I mean, <laughs> like, if I just guide her to, like, just post up against me. If like, she touches like, you, she's stuck to you. Oh. I don't know. And that. then she's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're both just going. <laughs> um, Wait, I have on. an idea. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to use my last sorcery point. <laughs> And I'm going to heal myself <laughs> with a cure wounds. Oh, sorry, uh, cure wounds. Are you uh, okay? So you're burning the sorcery point, so you don't have to use the semantic component. Exactly. Okay. So uh, just a D8 plus four. One. Yeah, or, plus, no, four. Yeah. plus four. Yeah. Uh, it's actually plus three because it's based off my charisma. Oh, that's right. So that's seven plus three. That's ten. So I get ten points back. That's I'm- better. Um, you, you're safe, Reiju. I forgot about something very important. Echoes can't be restrained. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm just going to tell you right now, you are not going to be able to cut her out of it. Eventually. Not, not, be, not being yeah. able to see her pre- uh, prevents you from freeing her. The only way that somebody can get free of this is if they free themselves. All right, we're going to try it one more time. Actually, it's supposed to be a three or with... Actually, no, it's a four that I rolled total last time because I forgot. And it's still not good enough. I know, it, so... It, it, no, it's not, it's, no, it's not a strength save. It's a strength check. Strength check. There's no proficiency in it. It's a strength check. Athletics? No, nope. strength only. It, it, it specifically says... All right. After about 10 minutes later... A uh, total of a 17. Uh, yeah. You slip out. You finally break free, frustrated, and now you're, uh, you're, uh, once again visible. Uh, Zellark, you are standing over Callie. Yes, I, um, she's, she's down there, and I just go, uh, <sighs> time to get up, little bird, and cast while doing that i uh cast uh healing word so just, we don't know that's just paralyzed yeah does, does the, healing five word points paralysis? all right so callie you snap too but you can't really move and i'm helping callie get she's up. dead weight like you try to help her up and she's just like laying there Thankfully, she only weighs. Where's her weight? Where did her weight get? 62 pounds. So. Still 62 pounds of dead weight. And hollow Six, bones. 62 pounds of dead weight. Yeah, she's lighter than I, a bag of cement. I, uh. What's happening? I'll put my cane 
through like her armholes through the back and just grab my cane from like the neck hole and start just dragging her. I don't think she uh, has a shirt, to be honest. She does not have a shirt. She doesn't have a shirt, okay. so you can't technically, you know, make her a Cali backpack. As if this needed to be any more complicated, she does not have a shirt. Can we fireman carry her? I'm not that strong. You can't fireman carry a 60, 62 pounds? What's your strength? No. 10? You, you could pick her up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. then yeah, then I'll do pounds. that. That's a oh, small guess. child. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, Reggie, let's go get this poison and get the fuck out of here. Uh, actually, you go handle that. I'm going to go talk to our mysterious friend over there. Oh, you're going to go talk to the fucking blue skull person. I mean, sure. I don't see why not. I trust you with poison more than anything else, which is kind of weird to say, especially your affinity for it. She doesn't have an affinity for it. She hates no, it. Uh, exactly. Her affinity for That's a version. Zero. That's a version. It's a version. It's a version. A version? Yeah. Like a version. a version. Yeah, an affinity for it means you're sort of special. I, I swear it. to God. No, I swear exactly. to God. Her affinity is zero. <laughs> I think I think the one that you would probably want to do is probably Zellark, seeing as how he's like you know the one that likes to fiddle with poisons. Him and uh, Nerix. Uh, yeah, I'm carrying Callie that direction. Yep. Uh, so you do that, and I kind of just plop her down, not hard or anything, just kind of into like a soft kind of a thud. Throw it down the stairs. That'll get her up. And then I just go start to, I'm guessing just cutting off the head would kill, would bring back some of its glands. I'm nope. guessing the glands. Nope. No, it's not the tail, it's a spider. Re re removing anything's head doesn't necessarily get you anything but a head. You, ha you, yeah. have well, to, you have to give me a survival roll to actually harvest the poison glands. I'll, I'll do it because I have a high survival. Nope. He's the one doing it. I said it, yep. So you can Let's assist see. for advantage. Yes, okay. I will assist you, Zeller. Okay. Don't fuck it up. That's me helping. You Thank have a poisoner's kit, assist, correct? By the wait, way. Wait, wait, wait. You have a poisoner's kit, right? No. Oh, okay. Well Nerix was the only one with it. I was looking for one, but they didn't have it in the city. Okay. Um Thank God, though, for the advantage because the first one was a six, the second one was a nineteen. Okay, so, so that it, gives it me a twenty you, because of jack of all trades. It takes you about a, a little bit of time, but you're able to one find where the poison the, the poison glands are, uh, the poison sacks here are stored, and then be able to successfully extract them without any damage. Yay! That six would have just fucked your friends. So, yeah. Um. So that's gonna. That, that takes you about like 15, 20 minutes to get through all this. Um. At that time, Reju, uh, you walk up on this thing, peculiar humanoid, maybe five and a half feet tall. Not, not really imposing in any way, and its hands are kind of like slowly like tracing around the um the gem that's embedded into the wall as he's like whispering to himself uh, she would first listen in to hear what he's saying um, um what languages do you speak actually uh, no never ahead. mind you wouldn't understand this so not elven not common not the draconic or primordial nope okay um at that point, she would... And he kind of, like, looks over at you, and you see that he's got he's got this iron mask over his face. Hello. It's not polite to stare. What do you want? Uh, uh, curious. Uh, curiosity. Um, uh, that mm. usually leads to me killing things. You're going to have to be a sure. little more specific. What are you curious about? Uh, well, uh, and she will hold a hand up and slowly grab her necklace out of her, uh, her 
her tunic. Hmm. So um, that's why it started glowing. Yes. Do you mind handing it over? Uh, mind if I oh, instead? And she will just start walking forward. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Distance. Distance. I don't trust the living. I trust the dead. <laughs> that's your fault. The dead can't lie. The dead can lie. Whoever, to they can't speak. whoever told you they can't lie is an idiot. We lie all the time. There's a lot of ways to tell you some truths. I'm not yeah. interested in your truths. I don't trust the living. What I'm interested trust. in is that little trinket around your neck. This trinket is mine. Hence why it's on you. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I said I had an interest in it. And I asked if I may see it. She'll go about that far and, like, hold it up. Kind of like, here it is. Can I hold it, please? She smirks. Kind of hold, hands it over. Thank you. Kind of takes it and he reaches over and he presses the uh, emerald against this blue gem. And then there's this, just this high pitched, like metal on metal noise that echoes out through the area and the stone just shatters. I hate this. I really hate this. And he kind oh. of he throws you your, your necklace back and he reaches down. He dusts away the stones and he picks up another pendant. A small, like, clear, like, sapphire that embedded makes, in the center. That makes five. Five? You have well, the four others. Indeed. Well, technically, most of them. We know where the last one is of the five. Hmm. He kind of turns around to face you, and you can see that the front, like his upper body, is uh, pretty much exposed. He's got, he's just got the cloak on him, and then like a very tattered pair of pants. But his upper body is just twisted and gnarled, um, rotted in some places. You can see puncture wounds and burns and everything. Very, very reminiscent of an undead. You have three. I have number four. Number five is out there. Number five has a location. Tell me. Yeah, Minico yeah, Mino starts walking that way. Would you care to join us as we go there? Hmm. Oh my fucking god! As he kind of like he kind of stuffs the uh the the, the uh, emerald into a pocket inside of his cloak. Do you even know what these do, living? Well, assumedly, they're related to the incident over 200 years ago. Oh God, Bridget, please stop. So you have no idea about their true nature? I would like to learn it. You did help so, me, so allow me to share a bit of knowledge with you. Ever trust a stranger, Stab. <laughs> they most definitely had something to do with the incident 200 years ago. But they weren't necessarily the cause. They are the solution to our current predicament? Uh, depending. On who uses them? No. Not who uses them. These are merely just keys. It's more who uses what is stored in the vault that he's unlock. An item of great influence and power. I mean, if you wanted to, say, reverse the effects of the calamity that befell your people 200 years ago, it most definitely can. But it's not something that doesn't come without a price. Lucky's power. 
not as simple. Uh, Minoka will whisper in rage as you're we're trying to stop talking to the undead lich. Sure, 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 you're doing things at the point. I am not a lich. I take offense to that. I don't thirst My for power. My apologies. The undeadiness is kind of... No, no I, I take no offense to it. I feel the same about your people. Yeah. Our peoples necessarily shouldn't intermingle or even trust one another as far as we can throw them. We are both known to lie. Known to do whatever it takes to come out on top. We I'm are just like the you. elves. Oh, the elves, yes. Oh, walking jokes they are. <laughs> They're the ones who caused all this. <laughs> oh, the, uh, the, the high elves. elves. Yeah, the we, high we've, elves. Heard, we've, we've heard of that one. The Kami, Ro the Kami Roskins. Yes. Yeah, that's the word. That's the word. You, all you elves are all the same, always scheming. Go back to your cave in the mountains. Am I done? I would. Am I not elbow deep in a spider yet? Or oh no! Still... While this is going on, you are elbow deep in that spider trying to get the glands. Callie's kind of like laying there, looking up at the propped sky. up against a rock. Um, <laughs> if I, if you wouldn't mind me asking one more question, I assume your assistance gets you one more. Uh. Would you happen to know anything about uh, a family known as Venya? Why would I even know or care about a family? I've been dead for 200 years. Well, undead anyway. Oh. Uh, assuming that the name doesn't ring a bell to you, that means my family is clear of it. Your family is what? clear of any mis wrongs or <laughs> misdoings of that. You're a drow. Your family is far from clear of misdoings. <laughs> uh, well, I am at least. I can say that with all honesty. You're a strange one, yes. Apparently I'm not from wherever they're from. I don't even know where that is. Nowhere on this continent, I can tell you that. That's interesting. Now, a little warning here. The Collective and I are in search of your little gems as well. Mm. We may cross paths yet again. Mm. But since you were so kind in assisting with my procurement of this one today, I, I suggest we leave on peaceful terms you we'll go your way to find you that's fine oh you you will not find me i will find it and she'll just hold it up again he, he kind of he kind of like kind of like tries to give a wink but you know empty eye socket yeah but you won't find it it won't it won't be anywhere you could travel safely i should say okay that is fair Oh, um, a warning for you, actually. Oh, God. Um, we ran into something strange. It's why we killed that spider there. Something known as an illithid. Oh, yes. What about? Apparently it, well, apparently it turned tail once it figured out what we were doing. Apparently we're more important to propose oh, than whatever they're doing. You're the one they were talking about. Yes. Reggie, care to... You I, know, I assume, disclose more confidential information? I, 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 I assumed well, that you may be it, but it didn't necess necessarily give a apt description of you, just a drow wandering around with one of the pendants. So, are you with the Magisterium or against it? He kind of just shrugs. I've answered your question, yes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to, well, leave. Very well. And he As you are. just begins to walk by all of you.
You're a fucking moron. And you're a fucking bitch. And, but and then she walks again, away. So what? You know what? Whatever. At least I'm honest with myself. Zellark, let's get going. Almost done here. Before Reiji keeps blabbering about shit that she shouldn't. What? Yeah, she kind of told this fucking undead and, person and, 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 as, literally everything. As as Minako's screaming this, you see this uh, five and a half foot tall undead, long flowing blackish blue cloak, walking by, just hands cradled in front of him. Walking by me and yeah, Callie, just, just walking down the center of the uh, center of the boneyard, just very casually, not as if. Giving giving off the sense that none of you are a threat to it. Are you saying that I'm not a threat right now? You're technically paralyzed. I mean, technically, so, yeah. somebody could pick you up and use you as a weapon. I could. I'm hit this motherfucker with this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, at that point, actually, Reiji will pick up Kalyan. And uh, basically wait for Zellar to get the poisons and so we can leave. How big are the we have poison sacks? Hmm? Um, they're they're fairly large. All right, they're they're big enough that you'll be able to like tran transport without an issue, but don't go juggling them. Would I be able to fit it into Callie's bag of holding? Well, Callie does have a bag of holding, huh? Sure yeah, you can slip them on into the bag of holding with without too much of an issue. All right. The first thing is that the group saw her steal. <laughs> no, I, I stole it for you and just gave it to you. Weren't we in there together when we came across it? Well, yeah, we needed a, a bag and you're we stole a just lot gotten of things in there. Yeah. Y'all got a bag. I got a dagger. We moved on. No, that was uh, in Zizix's back oh, room. Oh, was that the first back room? Oh, yeah. okay. I forgot where it came Early, from. early on. I really forgot where that came from. So, I'm finishing up and um uh I'm Reju starts taking uh Callie away and I'm like, hey, bring her back. What? With She's like right here. bloody, like gory yeah. hands with a thing. I I, I, I grab the I grab the 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 bag and open it for her. Oh, I was just gonna go walk up to Callie and just try to stuff it into the bag that's still like attached to her <laughs> every now and then it brushing up against Callie as it's sliding in <laughs> who can't move uh, that's actually something I wanted to ask you about um, and then why is your coat so dirty no before and out that, for a while and I just go and I walk where? off towards the bike yeah a, a very good question is who's driving the bike that's okay. what I was getting. No, you're not fucking driving the are, bike. Are, are you driving the bike? No one's. We're waiting for a fucking hour. Are to we? the one person that can drive this goddamn monstrosity of a machination. Do we know the actual effects of the poison? You know she's paralyzed. We don't know how long it's going to last. Nope. I, I imagine Zellark would probably be the one that might have the closest idea. Since he's I mean, so if Zellark wants to, is Zellark wants to roll a uh, medicine check. Fuck it, I'll do it. Nope. What'd you get? You're that way forever. I rolled a one. <laughs> yep. Zeller, <laughs> Zeller's under on the, under the impression you are permanently paralyzed. Uh, that's just until more. we get someone who can heal better than I can, and aka Syrah. Yeah, sorry, Kelly. I think you're stuck that way. I don't want to be stuck this way. That's why we're going to try and get you back to Ivy. Come on. And just kind no, of puts you wait, in wait. the sidecar. <laughs> she's I, a brick. Listen. Stick. She can't oh, sit down. Yes, yeah, she can. She's not She's not stiff. Oh. She's just paralyzed. She's dead weight. Oh, she's oh dead okay, weight. okay, okay. This is be, she's on the inside of the car, like right next to the motorcycle. It's it's not that I don't. She's kind of like weakened at Bernie's right now. <laughs> it's not that I don't trust you guys to drive this thing. We know you're really good at them. 
It's just. But can't we just like wait a while? I mean, Joyride. I don't. There's. We're not pushing the big red button like last time, right, Minico? Just if, if I didn't something push the fucking button. If something does <laughs> happen, children, but, knock it off. If something but, does happen, there's literally nothing I can do to defend myself. He does have a point. So, can't we well, just at like, the very bit? We can all be at underneath the shade of the tree. Yes. Take the paralyzed take the paralyzed bird back to the oasis where a giant snake is sleeping in the water. What possibly can go wrong? Untie the rope and leave. <laughs> That's what could go wrong. <laughs> Shall we take uh, a short rest or anything? I think, that's an, I think that should be in order. Like we should. I rest. can't believe I'm saying this, but Zellark is the one that has got at least on my nerves today. So if uh, you can take a short Thanks. rest in here if you'd like. All right, and I'll use the. Uh bit the song of rest so everyone gets um an extra d6 and a- a- after the hour passes by um cal you feel the um you feel life coming back to your limbs it's a little bit tingly but you can at least move now by the way, I'm. Pl- are we doing? I was planning on doing this at the Oasis, our short rest, and I'm playing a song I mean, of rest. If like I, if you want to doom your party, go right ahead. <laughs> this is the DM telling you that if you take a rest at the at there? Uh, Oasis, okay. Cali will die. All right, never mind then. Um, here in this boneyard is pretty much better. Besides, you've already you've already been t- you've already been there for about twenty minutes anyway, after mm-hmm. the, after the fight. So okay. none of you have really been doing anything strenu- strenuous but talking. So you've got like another forty there. Yeah, I, I I that's where I was planning on doing it. I didn't necessarily know where everyone else wanted to. Stay. I just imagine you were just singing a little ditty while you were cutting into the spider. I was just <laughs> bringing out my lyre and just playing something. Okay. Oh, I assume that because I was paralyzed from a poison, I don't get the short rest. Yeah, you do. Oh, I do? Awesome. Yeah. You just could move your body, but you were as relaxed, arguably as relaxed as one could possibly be in this scenario. Yeah. You know, bone graveyard aside. Better than being a spider food. The alternative vampire. All right, so the hour passes by. You take a short rest. Callie is once again functional. Yeah. Hey, look at that. You don't have to worry about anybody driving. All right. And uh, that's where we are going to go ahead and take our second break for tonight. And then we will come back and finish up the last hour of the episode. So uh, stick with everybody. We will be right back.
bastard. And we are like, back. Out of my goddamn mind. I mean, we all know you're crazy, but damn. What? <laughs> exactly. Oh, <laughs> I just changed oh. it. I segue. Segue. I'm I'm explaining that that there's no difference between Critical Role and Behold because I do not watch the content either way. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're I, I guess we're equivalent on uh with them on that level I guess. Listen, yeah. I I just can't really watch D and D. I can't it's either. Not, like I it's I, not I, fun. I'm, I'm right there with you. I cannot. I can't watch most not, streams yeah, in general. Yeah. yeah, I I refuse. Like I know Zorzo is like watch the vod so you can catch up on things. Like no, <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> Give me the spark notes. I mean, technically, <laughs> technically that's why I um I've made it to where when people are away, their character is off doing something else. So they technically don't have to follow the stream because they weren't yeah, involved in I it. Can't. So I can't. If oh, I don't remember oh. it, my character doesn't remember it. Pretty much. I'm not watching the VOD. There go. <laughs> That's why I take notes sometimes. Yeah. Um, Man. By the way, everyone watching this channel, please check out the VODs. Hit like, subscribe to all of our other channels. It's definitely worth channels? it. Just because the cast doesn't watch it doesn't mean you shouldn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Way to plug the YouTube there. <laughs> you, you forgot the bell. You forgot the bell. It's Sorry, like, Zellark like, hasn't been schmoozing please, anyone yet. I had to get it out yeah, somehow. Please watch our YouTube channel because Lord knows we don't. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually do and I do recommend that you watch our content <laughs> because it, it's enjoyable and in fact our Mass Effect game is very popular on YouTube actually the Mass Effect game and this game I actually do watch not only on YouTube but actually through Twitch whenever I'm able to like right after the show I'm going to replay it I don't know why you'd want to do that yeah, yeah. <laughs> you fucking mad lad i mean also rosa rosa what's shelling you mean shilling anyway <laughs> do you like critical role but hate how good they are watch our shit <laughs> careful i'm the host of this call i can mute you <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what happens when people are AFK. Damn, they're beating his ass in the retweets. Uh, so. <laughs> I fucking hate it here. God damn. You make it back to the Oasis with the, with the motorcycle still intact, tied to a tree. Callie, are you going to be operating it again? That's the plan. Unless the group ties me up and throws me in the sidecar is is there any uh any worry about the fuel or are we good because i know it's just liquid i can just refill that you haven't really yeah. been traveling very long for it to be a worry fair enough then we're good to go all right, all right. Callie, once everyone's in give me a vehicle handling Ooh, that is a nat 20 okay for a total of 28 Ooh. go ahead and give me the percentile rolls I'll write that part. Ooh. That's a 25. But a okay. nat 20 on the handling. A nat 20 on the handling. So, because it's a nat 20, you're not necessarily going to run into any physical trouble. But as you, uh, as you're driving, you're heading back towards it, even though a short ride, there's a brief moment when um, something kicks up a rock, like a small rock in the um, in your path, and it slams into the body of the motorcycle and just leaves a very noticeable dent in it. You're like this, so dead. This isn't like a, oh my God, we could buff it out type thing. This is just like, you know, it's in there. It's wedged in there. <laughs> oh, God. 
It's like right uh, on, it's like on the front right side of the uh of the bike. Uh, Ranger, I don't suppose you can cast silent image on that? I have four darts with poison on it. Should we just kill ourselves now? <laughs> Might be the better option. <laughs> oh, you'll worry too much, please. You know what? Look, we're doing this to help our friends. If they can't deal with a little bit of a buff on the freaking windshield, no, I mean, look, Nerix doesn't have to know that we took it. Like, we just don't say anything. Yeah, that's fine. Just don't say it. Okay, all for lying. But this, the she elf loves fucking running her mouth. I don't have to say that. You didn't have to say everything you said back there, and you said it anyway. I didn't have any reason to not trust that thing. Do I have to turn this it's bike around? Un- because I will. I'll drive it right back undead. into the boneyard. It's I'm guessing we're undead. having this conversation over the rings while so. we're at yes, high, yes. high speeds. Yes, yes. But it, it doesn't take too long for you to get back to the um, back to the camp. Wait, maybe they, maybe maybe Ivy could fix it. <laughs> <laughs> or no, her husband could fix it. Listen, he, she, he seems to be the more mechanical of the type with the balloon. Let's be real. If she noticed it, it's not like Nerex isn't angry all the time anyway. I mean, and nothing says it. Thankfully, well, I I could ask Snip. thankfully, by the time you get back, the balloon isn't there. So they haven't returned from their little uh, investigation just yet. So she doesn't necessarily know you took the bike. I mean, until Zoro watches the VOD because she won't. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we, like I said, we just we don't have to say anything. We don't have to lie to her. We just, we just don't, don't say, say anything. anything. So right? the plan is this. We don't say anything. We get to snit first. See if he can fix this before she finds out. Are we all in agreement? I'm sure. just saying, you take yeah. the you, you take the she devil's drugs away. She's, she can't hurt you. She's not very strong. Take your yeah, drugs that away. Could work. Or Zellark, um, I've seen you convince people of things that I'm pretty sure weren't true before. So maybe you could like talk to Nerex. I then... can keep her away while Snit fixes it. That's better it. yet. Better yet. Better yet. Nerex is very much easily provocable. I could get her upset and keep her busy as well. Okay. All you have to do is kiss her sister in front of her. Yeah, that'd work. <laughs> I mean, we do what we're we gotta not, do here. You're right, not guys? you're not wrong. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure just my mere presence is enough to upset the, the horned one. I'm just saying. We have we can plan keep busy. And we, we have plan keep... A, which is me. Plan B. I'll go play Tonsil Hawk. More nuclear. <laughs> which is a slightly more nuclear. Which is, you know. She's really gonna blow a fucking this. gasket. So in, yeah, in, while yeah. while you two okay, point her... is she's gonna be mad anyway. So and, yeah, while you two have her distracted, Raju, you, you seem curiously close with Snit. So that's fucking you weird. You could get him to like do. I mean, I was line. already, I was already thinking about it. Yeah, I bet you were. Don't worry. That, I mean, is it really that obvious? Very what obvious. A blind man could see it. See what? Um, <laughs> oh my god, that for Callie. Yes, I, I might be attracted to snow. But then again, we know Callie is a step below a blind man when it comes to this kind of thing. Accurate, but since also no like offense, Callie. Two feet my tall. eyesight is fine. Well, okay, this is very Sometimes. smart. It's funny, it's, it's a social cue thing, Callie. Just yeah, Cal, I hate to break it, you're social. We each enemy. have our you know pro, pros and cons are weaknesses and strengths you're mostly cons except you're fast i wouldn't go that far she I, tried I'm, to dodge lightning i successfully lightning dodged lightning. Hey, we Why all have bad ideas you, i just realized this the four of you together 
without everyone else. This is just a fucking episode like Mean Girls. You guys are just shitting on one each other, one another constantly. <laughs> Rachel was just like letting it go. So it's like batch. <laughs> I mean, three girls and a queer guy. I mean, what can I say? Yeah. It's just us girls. <laughs> this team name is just now Mean Girls. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I should have let the people kill me in the city. As we're like traveling on, like Reju was seriously thinking, like, well, I guess if we didn't get the poison, that that would have done it. But other than that, like, she's been kind of just nonchalantly, like, laughing and hanging out, just enjoying the conversation. Like, this is the best conversation she's had in the past year of knowing anybody in the city. She's just happy to be there. That's sad. It is. <laughs> but yeah, it's I'm guessing we company depressing. Yep. You guys are having this conversation in the rings and as they're getting off the motorcycles and going back into the cave. Mm. Callie, come here. We uh, need to go to Ivy. Yeah, Ivy's I'm first Ivy's giving... already like at the, the mouth of the cave waiting for you. Do my best to park the bike in the exact spot and in the exact position. It Give was me a relaxed. deception roll. Oh, Can I assist? God. No. Oh. <laughs> but I want to. <laughs> I want you to. Can I not do this? No. Nope. <laughs> you're the one. You're the one pulling this thing back in. You're trying I to make it. You, you're trying to fool real. Dad that you 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 just didn't take the Lambo out for a joyride. I should have made a note beforehand. Yeah, you should have. That I was. I rolled a minus one. Who cares? A minus, like I said, a minus one. <laughs> I, yeah, it was in that one. I have a negative two. In okay, so you just park it. Yeah, that looks great. like. Yeah, it. It's uh, it's standing upright. It's stationary. It's fine. Um, and you you because all... it's so bad. Can I nope. attempt to correct nope. it? Because it is yeah. not bad. It is not bad. It is uh, parked. It is fine. Because you, oh, you all are more focused on your arguing and damn. your and offloading the um the sacks to get them to Ivy. More mm. pressing matters are on mind of how you're trying to avoid Nerex killing you. Okay, maybe she won't notice. It's fine. I doubt she'll actually do anything harmful. So yeah, I'll take Callie and then go to Ivy so we can get the uh yeah okay. sack out of the bag. Oh good, you got it. Um they're still fine. They haven't really shown any negative signs. It's um you've got you've got a bit of time before any of the brain activity changes. It all depends on the well, the mental constitution of the, those that the uh, worms try to influence and then devour the brain. I'm sure they'll be fine then, because they're really strong in that department. Also, be careful with that poison. It's also really strong. Oh, yes, I know. It's a, it's a very good paralytic as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, give also, me... let it be known. It was I, Munical, that slayed the great spider. Well, thank you. It was. was. It was. Very well done. You might as you might have saved the lives of your friends. Oh, these are not my friends. Well, then you might have saved the lives of people you find less annoying yeah. than normal. We're friends. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the three idiots that got this oh. squid thing. I, uh... But you're right, we're definitely not friends. Interrupt during the bickering <laughs> and walk up to Ivy and go, uh, will you need all of that poison? Yes, dear. It's going to take a bit, quite a bit to make three batches. Okay, so not even enough for a little bit mm. to keep on the side? Not this time around. <sighs> Damn. All right. I just start going inside. 
Mm. So I could fix the bike. Oh yes, you are more than happy. You are more than welcome to try. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, with no expertise, you will have no chance no at making chance any improvements. Like. No. <laughs> She'll think about it. She'll just kind of sit in uh, Snit's uh, garage for the remainder of the day, I guess, unless someone else needs her. Is anybody taking okay. taking care of anything while she's concocting the uh, solution? Uh, I would um, like to watch her do it if she would allow me. Yeah, she watches and she even allows you to like assist her in means. That way, you know, it's always good to have a, a, an extra pair of hands on on deck when dealing with such an important matter. Um, Zalark's going to work out his liver a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Just drinking the existential dread away of Nerex maybe finding out about her bike. Yeah, he went straight inside, grabbed a bottle of rum, and just went to the circle couch in the middle and just has it there and is playing his leer to himself. All right. So it takes about an, like an hour, hour and a half just to get everything ready and concocted. And Ivy walks in with... um with uh Callie and she's got these three long bone needles with her like she hands one to Callie she's like okay what you're going to do is you're going to take the, this the tip of this needle and you're going to jam it into the base of their neck and what did they miss? well then it's going to be very painful and you're going to have to do it again Ooh. um leave it there until you hear like a hollow sucking noise and then take it out Okay. And she walks over and she like lifts up the Natalia's head. She just jams her right right to the base of her neck to show you. And it goes in about a good inch and a half. And she just holds it there. And then a couple seconds later, there's just that empty noise and she pulls it out and lays her back down. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do it on Bernard. I feel like he's... Uh less likely to hold it against me if I do it wrong. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure you, that's why kill. And you lift it up and you jam it into his neck and you hold it there and it drains and then makes the noise and you pull it out and lay his head back down. And she does the same thing in the Gaius. Lays him down. Okay. They're going to be out of it for a while. Four years are going to need a lot of sleep and a lot of TLC. So just keep an eye on them. Probably not going to be able to move them for a little bit, at least for the next 24 hours. So I'll, settle I'll, on in. I'll stay with them um, <coughs> until our other friends come back. The, the, they'll be fine. Um, you don't. You, you needn't worry about any of that. Um, the concoction I made isn't painful. Well, it's painful to the uh, parasite, but it's not painful to them. They will sleep soundly tonight. When they wake up in the morning. Uh, you might want to have a decent meal prepared because they are going to be starving. Uh, I can try and do that. Yeah, maybe I'll get Zellart's help. Uh, Cook Ivy? Cooking! That worked so well the last time. Uh, yes, dear. I don't suppose you can uh, fix things? I can fix some things, like uh, your friend's uh, conditions. Well, uh, well, I mean a condition loosely speaking oh. uh do you want to follow me mm. and she'll walk outside and show the huge fucking dent <laughs> oh dear your friend is not going to like that <laughs> so you can't fix it uh well uh when we were driving back there's a huge rock that hit the Ooh. no i'm afraid that i I'm not that much of a hands-on person when it comes to anything mechanical. Yeah. M maybe the maybe your little cobalt friend can help you. <laughs> Though he's off with uh, the angry I'm one, just, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, 
I, if I, if she's, I were, she's if I were angry you, all the time anyway. If I were you, I would work on an apology while you still have time. Oh, no. Maybe a bribe or something to uh have her lessen the damage to your bodies. Well, she can certainly try. She may. <laughs> yeah. God, I'm gonna love the group chat once uh, Zoro actually watches the VOD. Uh, and, and, and she can't go straight to checking because that's meta gaming, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Everything's so well up until bonk. It's up until bonk. <laughs> This was never, we were never going to get away with this. No, we were not, but we it was totally worth doing. Slow. It was no, so no, good. No, 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 no. If that, tw if that 26 did not roll, you would have been fine. No, I, no, there was no way we would have gotten away with this. Uh, like, the, the, the powers that be would not allow it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Circumstance. It's all circumstance. Wait, are you, you saying that I'm sort of looking forward to, uh, no, I'm just saying. I mean, who wouldn't be at the, this point? <laughs> the, the because overall I, I totally powers am, I, that be. I totally am looking forward to the shit show that's going to happen am, next time. I am tuned so in looking in two it. weeks for the shit show that will occur in maybe, maybe, maybe two weeks, <laughs> maybe four weeks. Sorry, mm. it may not be four weeks. It all depends on what happens. Mm, mm, mm. Um, but. You spend the rest of the, you spend the rest of the night um doing going about your things drinking spending alone time in a garage me and trying to desperately trying to find anyone that can No, she work was miracles. just curious. No, she was just curious. She she's not the least bit concerned. That's fine. She's like, well, you know, it's worth a shot. We'll deal with this tomorrow then. So is anybody doing anything else or wanting to do anything else Wait. for the rest of the day? Uh, Wait. Yes. Minako does require Ivy to lecture somebody. What do you mean? What do I need to lecture people on? The she elf be blabbering off to some undead. Oh, well, that seems like a, a problem for your group, not me. I'm not an intermediary when it comes to intergroup drama. You all be adults and you discuss your problems together. Okay, so if I hit her, you will not get involved. Why would I? Thank you. I'll probably have to heal her or heal you, depending on what happens. But in my personal opinion, yes, normally one should not, uh, one should not surrender too much information to strangers. Thank you. Thank you. And then, like, Draconic, she looks like stupid shield. Tell us, why don't you tell us where, where the tribe is while you're at it? And she'll go and start drinking as well. So, Reju is actually going to... I'm oh, sorry. You want no, to go, go for it. Okay. Um, Reju is actually going to find some, uh, some scrap parchment out of her bag. And she's going to be in the workshop actually drafting up some ideas for Snit on uh weapons uh a personal craft for wind sailing and okay other go ahead and go ahead and give me a an intelligence roll at disadvantage that's fair an intelligence roll Uh, one was going to be a 20, unfortunate, but the other one's a 15. Okay. So she gets started on it. I'll, I'll, I'll make a, I'll make a note of that. And, uh, she'll probably pass out, like just drawing pictures and pretending to be like some sort of grand art architect for a little bit while she's in the shop. Okay. And trying and probably has a little bit of booze while she's doing it.
What's uh, right. Zellark doing? Uh, I'm going to try to find Callie. She's not too hard to find. She never left the uh, room after jamming the uh, needles into your friends. Just going to... walk in uh this is in the sleeping quarters right yeah this is in the bedroom where all the beds are okay um i'm just gonna walk in and uh sit in a on the bed across from her put the bottle on like the nightstand in between us and just kind of relax play some music and Every once in a while, taking some drinks, not saying a word. Allie was um, working on some things, on scribbling down some stuff on some parchment when he came in, and she probably waits for a while, finishes up what she's doing before putting all her stuff away, and eventually just kind of looks up at you. Are you okay? I mean, I know the answer to that, but are you okay? Are you? No. This helps. And I hand the bottle over. I don't think it will help me. How do you know? think it will just hide away the problems for a while but they'll still be there yeah but what else are we going to do our problems they can't be solved right now why not push it off till later? Can they even be solved by us? Like, this all seems like so much. Picks up the bottle and just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything right now. I'm just along for this ride, whether I want to be or not. I'm there with you. I miss the city so much. Everyone here, like they're mostly good people they're trying to be good people but if they're just there's so much magic and stuff being thrown around like we i grew up being told being shown that that's that's bad you don't do that and now everyone's doing it all the all the time and like i feel it seeping into me too and it's just i'm scared kelly sweetheart where i'm from magic is just magic other places it's not as shunned upon as it was in that city but on the same point, at least in that city, we had some sort of purpose, you know? It was, we're wandering at the moment, I feel. We don't have a clear goal, but we're going to Syrah and Nerix's home. And then what? We find a necklace. And then what? No, we don't have a plan. We don't have a goal. 
this group. Fuck. At least Minako's taking her frustrations out on someone else besides me for once. So that's a plus. But we're barely even together as it is. There's nothing. The people lying right there, they were our benefactors. Now, in a way, we're their benefactors. Everything is just on its head. It has been since we left. It has been since before we left, since we first got involved in all of this. Like, is it too late to just turn around? I've been thinking about that for a while. You know, that tower we went to and uh, through the portal in Zizix's house. Yeah, that was something. That was the plane I'm from. Wait, what do you I mean? Am, I'm not from here. I stumbled into these wastes through some sort of a rift. I'm from the Shadowfell. This is not... So, wait, all those times when you were saying that you weren't from here, you, you, just, you didn't mean just the city? You didn't mean just the... No. Oh. Hence when I mean where I'm from, magic is just magic. Like, we can... Most... A lot of people can just, you know, and I, I just make like a a flower appear with a silent image in my hand and just like this is nothing this is lies this is illusion and i put my hand through it and it just scatters this magic is not something to be tripped up on I, I understand that, but just like how it's nothing where you come from, where I come from, magic is what made this place, what destroyed this place. That's why magic's bad. That's why we're not allowed to do it in the city, because it destroys everything it touches. Not always. I haven't think seen about, anything to the contrary. Think about how I've brought you back with just a word. I say, get up, and then you're able to again. That doesn't destroy. But what, the, what's the price for that? It, it can't just be you, you, you say it, and so it happens. Like, what what's what's the reverse of that surely something is happening somewhere that gives you that power what are you taking from in order to use it well lately it seems to be my sanity i i, I know that's kind of a joke but it's also kind of not Allie. You and I seem to be stressed beyond just almost beyond repair at the moment. Do you agree with that? It's, yeah, it's getting real hard to just hold it together. Yes, I I've noticed. a bird living in my face. That doesn't happen in the city. On that note, that looks so painful when he just dive bombs R- in your R- head. Ruger butts in. He's like, you made the bond with me. I adore you, Ruger, and I, I want to be with you. It's just taking some getting used to. That's all. Yeah, I don't want to feel like I'm an intruder or anything when you were you not. allowed me in. I, I, I wouldn't. I'd tell you to go away if I didn't want you here. 
by the way, can I hear this or is this just in her mind? One sided. One? If she's speaking okay. out loud, it's one sided. You can't hear what he's saying. But as you um as you're talking, you hear the, the bottle uncork. And then somebody taking like very long drinks from it. And when you look over, you see Bernard <laughs> there kind of like perched up in the bed, just like downing the bottle of rum. Morning, sleepyhead. Just puts up a finger. <laughs> the archer move. And then like he just like tosses the like the just tosses the empty rum bottle onto the floor. I don't think you're supposed to drink it like that. That's no, exactly how I'm supposed to drink it, little bird. <laughs> Where <sighs> hmm. did did we hear the 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 bottle? You hear you, the bottle doesn't break. It just kind of cl clambers to the ground. He kind of just like rubs his head. He's like, <sighs> remind me next time to hire my own transport. You suck at driving. Hey, <laughs> I am very good at driving. Maybe you just suck at holding on. You drove us into a well, maybe not you. Somebody drove us into a pit. <sighs> that was not me, although I did have the control of the rudder. Uh, you're in. You're in the garage. Yeah, it's just. I heard the bottle yeah. playing, and I walked out. That no, that's that. The, no, no, the, no. The, the, no, bot, the, the bottle garage was, is soundproof. The yeah, the bottle doesn't. The door the, was not closed. The bottle, the bottle clambering does not reach that far. It's not like he like chucked it. He just dropped it. I thought the house was actually just a smidge of smaller. Than no, that. no, no. Okay, no. never mind then. Like you wouldn't hear it across the house. And Would you, I have heard it? I mean, you, you maybe. saw Zellert go in there with a yeah. bottle in hand, yeah. so... Maybe, would but I don't care yeah, is I, the real problem. Yeah, would you question. care is what the, the question. Would is you care enough to come in and check? <laughs> Unlike sound, yes, because there's supposed to be, like, unconscious people in there. Well, I mean, there's two people in there talking and drinking. Yeah. Talking yeah. and drinking, so... A bottle I was falling playing to the music floor. at one point. Yeah, a bottle falling to the floor isn't anything to be worried about. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. Minogo doesn't give a shit. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, These two are still out, it seems. Yeah. How, how are you feeling aside from, I guess, a headache? You mean aside from the thing withering around my skull at the moment? Yeah. I'm okay. The parasite or your brother? <laughs> my brother never goes into my mind. And oh, loud. he meets the other you. Oh. Other me doesn't rest in my mind either. We don't Come really on, understand how like the other you works. You ever have one of the, you ever see one of those little dolls when you open them up, there's another doll inside of them? Sort of the same thing. Does that other doll have another bottle of rum? No, but if you would be a deer and go get me another one, that would be wonderful. I'll be right back, and I'll leave the room to get a couple more bottles. Hey, Zellark, what the fuck was that noise? Drop the bottle. As I'm reaching down to grab two more bottles. <laughs> Cling! <laughs> so I take it that I'm not writhing in pain or transforming that... You did what you needed to do to get the little squirmies out of the head. Yeah, we um, we fought a real big spider to get something to help you guys. That is appreciated. It, I am it bite really hurt. I am far too pretty to become a mind flare. I agree. He kind of he kind of grins. So, where are we? We are in our portable house. I assume in so. A cave that belongs to a really nice lady. And her name is Ivy. Okay. It sounds like I don't need to worry. She made the thing that helped you. As he says that, 
the door flies open from uh the, the main door flies open and a very pissed off Nerix walks into the room <laughs> and that is where we're ending for the for this uh session oh god i know medical <laughs> has a shit eating grin <laughs> i close the bedroom door <laughs> I I'm I'm envisioning that I'm making my way back to the bedroom with two bottles of rum, and as soon as that door slams open, I just freeze. <laughs> yep. So that is where we are going to end because because that was such a bad roll when it came to uh parking it. It's like it it just shines out like a black eye. <laughs> there is no hiding that. So I will need to send a message to Zoro if she doesn't re isn't watching the VOD, uh, letting her know. I need to send out a message to them anyway about what they discovered during their little investigation. <laughs> but yeah, that is going to do it for us this week. Um, so upcoming next week, uh, Monday and Tuesday, uh, we will not be having shows. Um, Shadow Fox and Zoro are still out. For uh, that time, uh, doing baby birthday stuff and family stuff. So uh, Monday, we'll not have the DM. And then Tuesday, they're not going to be here. And I'm not going to be here because I'm going to be doing an Extra Life event over on my own channel with the uh, launch of New World. But uh, upcoming on Saturday, we're going to have another episode of Wayward Wanderers, which is our Pathfinder 2 Extinction Curse campaign, as well as another episode of uh, Behold Lore which I believe this time around we are talking about uh, unique NPCs. There we go, say. unique NPCs. I was trying to think of a way to describe them, but yes, unique <laughs> NPCs that uh, people have come across throughout uh, our, our little uh, campaigns in the world. Um, but yeah, so that is going to do it for us tonight, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will catch you on Saturday. Adios.